Is there something yummy? Of course, Meatball. Didn't you hear? Granny left us plenty of food. I'm still hungry. <laughs> Wait a sec. This is the extra food Granny left us. If I eat it all, what'll I do for the next few days? Well, at least I can taste it. I think I'll go to bed. Me too, Pilu. You coming, Meatball? Took a walk to help my stomach, but <sighs> but he'll settle for snoring. Fuzzy <laughs> 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 cats, wake up! They call me Lempo. I'm the greatest. Milady, wake up! Milady! What's wrong, Pilu? Meatball is sleepwalking and he's on the way out! Uh, uh. 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 We've got to get him back to bed before he gets himself hurt. Oh no! He's about to step on that rake, huh? Uh, oh. uh, 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 I'll cut him off! You two stay on his tail! Uh, uh, ouch! At least Meatball didn't get hurt. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. He can't resist donuts, not even when he's asleep. <laughs> not so fast, Meatball! Ah! Ah! Oh. Lampo, everything okay? Uh, uh, not really, but at least we got Meatball back to bed. Oh, my meatballs! What a rude awakening! Why is Dr. Fisby here? Meatball, you were sleepwalking all night. Seriously, m'lady? Oh, I don't remember anything. And I wish we could forget. It's all your fault, Meatball. We didn't get any sleep last night, and now we're exhausted. <sighs> Buffy Cats, you oh. did the right thing, getting him back to bed. You must never wake a sleepwalker. I'm a sweet talker? Meatball, your furry fellows called for my medical expertise. <clears throat> so... But I feel just fine. <clears throat> My first hypothesis is that his bed isn't fluffy enough. When Meatball falls asleep, he goes searching for a better one. Where can we find a really fluffy bed? At the farm, obviously. After all, hay bales are very comfy. If Dr. Fisby is right, we'll finally get sleep tonight. I hope so. <sighs> 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 
guys, wake up! What's wrong, m'lady? Meepo is gone! He might be sleepwalking. <laughs> we'll find him. Let's follow my whiskers. Uh. <laughs> there he is! <gasps> what was that? Just a trash can falling. <gasps> Where's Meepo now? How did he get up there? <laughs> the masked cat! Luckily, I happen to be in the area, or Meatball would have had a great fall. And now we put him to bed. <sighs> oh, my meatballs! What a good night's sleep! <sighs> Oh, no. Buffy Cats, was I a sweet talker again? Hmm. It's clear that the bed wasn't the problem. Perhaps you should try a lullaby. A lullaby? Certainly. He'll be more relaxed when he falls asleep, so he won't feel like going for a walk in the middle of the night. Uh... Twinkle, twinkle, little kitty. Your sleep will be really pretty. Sleep well till the sun comes up. Don't walk around and don't wake up. <sighs> no sleepwalking, do your best. Cause we also need to rest. Whatever it takes. Let's go save Meatball. And now, let's put him to bed. It's snack time! <laughs> what a catastrophe! Her bowls are empty. Don't worry, Meatball. Let's just remind Granny Pina that it's time for a snack. <laughs> this is gonna be a shot to remember. Someone's meowing out there. Buffy Cats, come on. Let's call her louder. <laughs> What is all that meowing? Ouch, ouch, ouch! How insufferable! Those ratty cats made me miss the shot! If this wall can't protect me from the horrible noise of those cats, I'll build one that's even taller! We're coming, kitties. Here comes your food. Huh? Granny, what's Winston doing? Hmm. No, oh, can't you see? I'm putting up a wall between your annoying cats and my private life. I have to get rid of those cats forever. And while I'm at it, I'll get rid of every cat in town. Oh, it's okay, boss. You can stay with me. You're my one and only favorite cat. And... <gasps> What's this I'm reading? 
Yeah, what great news! There's an election coming for the town mayor. All I have to do is run for office and win at all costs. So I can build the world's largest anti-cat wall. <laughs> hey, people! Vote Winston, the best mayor for our town. I'll do so many things for you, and I'll build an anti-cat wall to keep all cats out of the city. Vote Winston! 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 Want to rid our town of all those ratty cats? Vote Winston! Vote Winston! Vote Winston! <laughs> From now on, you know who to vote for. The wonderful, unrivaled, irresistible Winston. I can't believe my eyes. Winston is helping that lady cross the street. If you elect me, not only will you have a mayor with a perfect smile, but you'll also be free of all cats forever. <laughs> no, he's still a bad guy. Madam, don't listen to this man. He is always telling lies. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, ouch, ouch, ouch! Buffy Cats, if Winston wins the election, it's gonna be a cat catastrophe for you. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Vote Winston! Look at the polls! I am the favorite! Soon I will become your charming mayor! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna build a really high wall! We'll get rid of cats forever! <laughs> <laughs> Look! The cats are here! I will get rid of them because they are bad! Cats are not bad. They just need a little food and lots of cuddles. Cats are cute and sweet. Everyone knows it. Yeah. We'll see about that. Boss, handle this! Prove to everyone that cats are bad! <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Oh, thank you, kitties. If it wasn't for you, I'd have fallen into that manhole. Here, take these. <laughs> Let's see just how much people are loving me. <laughs> What's this? Boss, Blister, Scab, you were supposed to be acting evil, not like heroes. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll have to do this myself. I'll prove to everyone that cats are bad and dangerous. Meow! Meow! Ugh. Oh, nice! I always wanted a kitty. Mm. Whoa! <laughs> Look, Brutus! A giant stray cat! <laughs> Winston! <laughs> We're sorry. We didn't recognize you. We thought you were a giant stray cat. Ah, Brutus and Bertie. Hmm, you catch cats because you don't like them, right? Yeah, yeah they're, they're really, really unpleasant. unpleasant. Good. Then we can team up against those ratty cats. <laughs> Izata, if Winston becomes mayor, he'll build a super high wall that'll keep us out of town. Lampo, here's an idea. Go around town doing good deeds. You'll just need some energy from these. Yeah. <laughs> Granny Pina's noodles! <laughs> the secrets in the noodles of Granny Pina. <laughs> a friend of superpower, a spectrum and reliever. You eat them hot with me ragu. With ragu! They'll help you grow all tall and stop your feeling blue. <laughs> because a plate of noodles.
Captain's plans! What an adorable little kitty. Yeah. Want some cuddles? Mm. <laughs> Aw, what a sweet kitty. <laughs> huh? uh. <laughs> wow, did you see that? That was incredible. Kitty. <laughs> Winston's never gonna win! <laughs> Good job, Bertie! It's dirty everywhere! Excellent, Brutus! Put those ratty cat tracks all over! <laughs> Look, Buffy Cats! Winston is with those two cat catchers. But what are they up to? Let's get this city dirty, so everyone will think it was the cats, and I'll become mayor! <laughs> We've got to stop them. Wait, Lampo. Our noodle power has worn off. Don't worry, milady. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. <laughs> Look! The cats have dirtied our city! <laughs> as soon as I become mayor, I promise I'll free you from cats forever! I agree with that! Everyone's clapping for Winston, but soon... They'll find out the truth! Come on, Meatball! This is for all of us! This is the first project I'll make happen as soon as I become mayor. The Anti-Cat Wall! Pictures away! Hey, Brutus and Bertie made the city dirty. And Winston was with him. <clears throat> Blaming innocent kitties is wrong. But Winston asked us to do it. And you listen to that big bad Winston. We're, We're sorry. We made a mistake. mistake. Down with Winston. Down with Winston. Down with Winston. Down with Winston. No more anti-cat wall. And there's more possum news. A new holiday, Stray Cat Day, will be celebrated right at Winston's villa. As a punishment, Winston, Brutus, and Bertie will have to look after all the cats in town. Uh. See? Isn't it wonderful to take care of stray kittens? <laughs> Birdies on that branch are all wet. Oh, poor birdies. My furry fellows, we can't just leave them out there. Please, let's bring them inside our clubhouse. <laughs> uh -huh. Hi, birdies. You're cold, aren't you? My friends, the Buffy Cats, and I decided to invite you inside our clubhouse so you'll be warm. Let's get out of this awful rain. Buffy cats, the birdies are all wet. I'm afraid they might catch a cold. Well, Pilu, then let's dry them off. This will get it done super quick. <laughs> It looks like you just got back from the hairdresser. Let's go, Buffy Cats. Granny's birthday can't wait. <laughs> hey! I'm sorry, little birdie.
please, but uh, before touching anything, please ask first. And whatever you do, don't touch <laughs> my guitar! <laughs> 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 My furry fellows, why won't you stop spinning? The guitar's gone to your head, Lampo. Have some of my treats. You'll feel better in no time. Mm, they look so delicious. <laughs> hey, birdies, calm down. My bed. <laughs> They've eaten all the treats. Woe is me. These birdies can't keep still for a second. Yeah, this is pretty bad. We have to put the party together, but we can't leave them alone. Why not, milady? We just need a touch of sweetness. Dear birds, can you please be good for your friend Pilu? <gasps> See, my furry fellows? You can get anything with sweetness. <laughs> You're right, Pilu. Looks like the birds have calmed down for now. Come on, Buffy Cats. Let's get to work and decorate the room. What possum decorations! Let's start with the flags. Woo! <laughs> oh, oh, my whiskers! <laughs> We gotta stop that. How do we do that, Lampo? Um, maybe I didn't have the sweetness turned high enough. Birdies, if you're gonna be guests in someone's house, you have to be nice and polite. <laughs> nope, they can't think about anything but playing. Playing, huh, Lampo? That gives me a buffy brainstorm. <gasps> Show them how much fun we're having setting up the party. Good idea, my lady. Then the birdies will lend us a paw. Buffy cats, look! Putting up these little flags is a possum <laughs> game. Looks like it worked. The birdie stopped. Let's keep playing, Buffy cats. <laughs> yeah, my lady. This game is super possum. Birdies, wanna play with us? to the most important thing, the birthday cake. It's super late. Granny will be here soon. It's over. We'll never be done in time. There'd need to be at least 10 of us. Hey, what are the birdies doing? Uh, 
as I live and meow. The, the birdies, birdies are, are making, making the cake! cake. Possum! They want to help! If we team up, we can do it! Come on, Buffy Cats! Let's go! Knead the dough. Mix it up! <laughs> Make way! Incoming strawberries! <laughs> Granny Pina is already here! Kitties, Granny Sock! Uh, Granny Pina is coming inside! But the cake isn't ready yet. Don't worry, Pilu. I'll distract Granny so you can finish the cake. What bad weather today. Meow. 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 Luckily, I'm home with my kitties. Hello, lady. Meow. Meow. Some more cuddles, little sweetie. Milady, you really want to play today. Oh? Milady, where are you? Hmm. Where are my kitties? Hm. How strange. It's so quiet. What happened to my sitting room? Oh, kitties, aren't you funny? Why are you wearing those hats? Meow. Meow. Oh, here's another one. I suppose I'll wear one, too. <laughs> What's this? A cake? How beautiful. But, but, but what are we celebrating? Meow. 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 Oh, of course, kitties. You're right. Today is my birthday. I had totally forgotten. Buffy mission accomplished, Buffy cats. All thanks to the little birdies. And now, kitties, <laughs> time to taste this wonderful cake. I take it back. Oh, you liked the cake. You can come back on my next birthday, birdies. my furry fellows. Of course, but first, we'll need a little energy boost. <laughs> <laughs>
Target keeps moving around. That just means we'll have to move faster. Somehow. But my lady, how? <gasps> I've got a buffy brainstorm. We just gotta think like a hatchling. Meatball, where would you go if you were a little bird? Hmm. To find a snack. Mm -hmm. If I were a baby bird, I'd go to the park. <gasps> yes, Pilu. He could have gone to play at the park. There, let's go. Robin. But then, where can it be? If only your whiskers power was still working, Lampo. Wait, now my whiskers are telling us that... <laughs> the baby stopped moving! <laughs> <laughs> to be the sound of my baby's chirping. Where, Robin? At the farm! <laughs> Mommy? <gasps> Mommy! <gasps> Lampo, 
What did Corny mean? I have no idea. Anyway, sowing seeds is pretty easy. And it's so quiet here. <laughs> um, Milo, maybe it's better not to feed him? But he's just one bird, and he's so cute! Oh, my meatballs! They're eating all the seeds! Oh, what do we do now? <laughs> shoo! Shoo, shoo! No! Hey! Shoo! Shoo! We're sorry, Corny. Unfortunately, the birds ate all the seeds. Yeah, it always happens to me, too. Birds eat seeds, and I don't know a good way to keep them away. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Birds are afraid of scarecrows. Buffy cats, let's build one using our creative recycling. Hmm. I never thought of that before, but it's going to be a snap. The farm is full of old objects that can be recycled. Okay, let's try. Uh, hurry up before they come back. They're coming! Oh, no! Everyone, hi! It's working! <gasps> the scarecrow keeps the birds away! Yes! The birds won't eat the seeds ever again! We did it! Hooray! <laughs> if you want cornbread, you have to grind the corn kernels with one of these millstones. <laughs> To grind the kernels, you have to turn the millstones. That's how you make flour. Ready, Pilu? No, Corny, just bored. It's kind of boring to grind the corn. It may seem boring, but with the right attitude, anything can become a game. <laughs> hmm. There's got to be some way to make grinding corn fun. <laughs> oh, no! The birds have come to eat the corn. Shoo! Shoo! This corn ain't for you, birdies! Pretend the millstone is a merry-go-round. Let's play corny-go-round. Hmm. Like your game so much. But I sure did. Wasn't it possible? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, flowers yeah. coming out. Yeah. 
Good job, kids. When we have all the ingredients, I'll go knead this corn flour and bake the bread in the oven. So what do we do next? Uh -huh. We go make the butter. Bucky, come with me. It'll be simple. <laughs> First, put the milk in this canister. Be careful not to spill. Bucky, now you have to shake it. That will turn the milk into butter. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. The milk isn't butter yet. <laughs> Hmm. Sounded so easy. I know, Ginny. Making butter is boring, too. Nothing is boring on the farm, Pilu. You just need the right attitude. Mimi's right. Hmm. Look, the birds want milk. We can challenge them to a game of butter rugby. We'll use the milk canister as a ball. It'll be fun. <sighs> It off. <laughs> the fearsome third team is trying to steal the milk from the famous rugby player, Chibi! <laughs> but the possum champion, Pilu, gets the pass without a moment to spare. <laughs> and passes to Bucky! <gasps> Team has taken possession of the milk. <laughs> the brave rugby champ Bucky intercepts the pass. <gasps> Look! Congratulations, Cubs! The milk has become butter. We're the farm champions! <laughs> can be found in this special bee's nest, the hive. Once I put these spouts in the holes, honey will start to come out. Oh. Wait and collect the honey drop by drop in your jars. But this is gonna take forever. And it'll be boring. But you can make it fun, Ginny. Remember, on the farm, nothing is boring. You just need... The right attitude. I've got an idea. If I give the hive some spin, the honey will come out faster. And catching it on the fly is more fun. Awesome idea, Ginny. All the birds are here. They want honey. No problem. We'll challenge them to a game of catch the honey. Hmm. <laughs> 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 right, Jimmy. Look out, Pilo. Jar will bring it to me. A long shot. Aha! Uh -huh. Well done. You collected all the honey. Yes, we won. Now that we've got all the ingredients, we can go and use them for snack time. Jungle is saying we should get to the other side, but how will we ever do that? It looks like that bird. 
Birdie wants to eat that acorn. No, he doesn't. What's he up to? <coughs> he catapulted the acorn in the tree. <coughs> I got it! Jungle made a catapult! Uh, hey. And he's saying we can just catapult ourselves to the other side! <laughs> Let's each grab a rock, too! <laughs> now let's all hop on the catapult! <laughs> Okay, let's toss our rocks on the other end of the branch at the same time. Sorry, Jungle. We didn't wait for you. We threw our rocks too soon. And now our catapult is totally ruined. <laughs> I think Jungle said he'll find another way around. But we can't wait for him. Tata's in danger. Jungle taught us how to handle ourselves in the wilderness. We can do this on our own. Let's go save Tata. <laughs> Hello, little birds. You are so cute. Oh, sure. Hey, what are you doing? Sure. I don't want birds on my fence. Buffy cats, all thanks to the little birdies. Welcome, the Pinky Paws! Watch the Winter Buff Olympics, you'll see a great show. So thrilling, so thrilling, so thrilling, let's go. Two competitors will face each other in the snow. Who are they, who are they, oh, do you know? They are Boss and Liam Foley, the Pinky Paws. We'll sing about it without any pause. Uh, I'd rather have to listen to the trumpeting elephants than those. I just love the Pinkie Paws. I even got them a present. Three cans of their favorite food. <laughs> Fly to the Pinkie Paws, little balloon. <laughs> Fish pate, not too salty. We love it. Thank you, Kilu. You're simply beautiful. Kilu, huh? I'm feeling a bit peckish. Help yourself, Meatball. <laughs> Lamp was there. Lamp was there. Very happy because he's in the lead. Wow. But it's gonna be so hard now. Crossing the finish line. It's a good thing having friends just like us. You really want to help? You can wait for me at the finish line. Are you sure you can get there? <laughs> <laughs> you need to work harder. Don't you know the snowball will get heavier and heavier as you climb? <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Did you know that Lampo listens to your songs all huh? the time? Uh, really? really? Let's, Let's do, do another, another one, one just for him. But it's bent. Oh. Can you really hear? <laughs> yes! But I'm kind of in the middle of a race yes. right now. The, the Pinkie Paws! <laughs> Cherry, <laughs> Lolly, <laughs> Betty. Hmm. What do you think of your fans, <laughs> Pinkie Paws? You're all beautiful! Yeah! 
Now, Pilu, our stars will hang out at your house today. Hello, kitty cat. Will you help us prep for tonight's concert? Of course I'll help, and my furry fellows too. Cherry called me kitty cat. So exciting. <laughs> your car awaits to take you to our house. Milady, could you drive the Pinkie Paws home, please? Of course, Pilu. Start the propeller, Meatball. <clears throat> I can't get the propeller going. We need a push. Get in the car. I'll handle this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, such a gentle cat. Here's a ticket for tonight's concert. First row. Wow! Did you see how generous they are? My whiskers are over the moon! An entire day with Cherry, Lolly, and Betty! I'm happy for <laughs> you, Pilu. And we'll do our best to make them feel welcome. This is our clubhouse. Do you like our beds? Are they comfy? <laughs> These beds are beautiful! Yeah! Forget it! I'm going to win! Oh, we'll see, boss! From the mountain Lambo and boss are bungee jumping, it's the second event! And it's very exciting! But what are you doing? You jumped without a bungee cord! <laughs> we are perfectly safe! Are you sure you are? Oh. Eyes front! And watch your tails! What is she talking about? Ah! <laughs> boink, 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 boink. And with the parachutes, we'll make you hear the sound of competitors falling with their bonbons on the ground. Boink, boink, ouch! Boink, boink, ouch! They're good, they can't stop bouncing on. Keep your eyes front or you'll smack your bonbon. Oh. Yeah! to prep for our concert. Great! We're actually a band. If you want, we can play for you. Hmm. So, you play on this wreck? Oh? This is the Buffy Cat stage. Do you like it? Too weird. Too odd. Too plain. Oh. It's made out of reused stuff. Thanks to our creative recycling. I'm hungry. Huh? I need to eat something. Right. How about some nice cat treats? <laughs> Follow us! <laughs> super tasty for super energy! Uh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Maybe later. We'd rather have something else now. <sighs> Ow! No problem. <laughs> You'd prefer some not-too-salty fish pâté, wouldn't you? Mmm! Pâté is beautiful! Yeah! Hello, Pinkie Paws! We're <laughs> big fans of yours! Oh. <laughs> you fans are beautiful! Yeah! I'm the luckiest cat in the world! Tell her! If a sight is so sweet, it'll knock you off your feet. <laughs> so many fans, but still no pate. Oh, let's see if we can find the chef cat. <laughs> Hi, Marina! Here I am! I made some good paella for the Pinkie Paws. The Pinkie Paws would like some not too salty fish pate. <sighs> oh. Okay, so what do we do with this then? Huh? No problem. <laughs> Here's your pate, girls. Not too salty. Do you like it? No, too bland. Ow! Huh? No problem. <laughs> Here's your dessert. Cotton candy. Hope you like it. <laughs> no, it's too sweet. 
Ah. Oh, no problem. You know, now I want oh. some ice cream. Ah. Uh -huh. mm. hm. Let's hope they like ice cream. <laughs> Cream's desserts have got you covered. <laughs> <laughs> Gotcha! Meatball! Trust your bonbon -bon attack! I'll try! I will! Now, Paul, I finally found you! The hundredth ninja orangutan! That's me! And I'm here to defeat you, Meow Paw. <laughs> You're so predictable, Meow Paw. I know every move of your frog style. <laughs> Frog tongue is mine. No! We gotta help Meow Paw! Mm. Leave it to me. Hello, Master Kato. After the hard training that you did, in the final Cat Fu show, you'll have to commit. Final show? What does that mean? Each of you will perform a Cat Fu style. And all together, a routine you will try. Pilu, you will do Ladybug style. Delicate and controlled, it achieves every goal. Lampo, you will do Dragonfly style. Instinctive and fast, the surprise ending a blast. Meatball, you will do Bumblebee style, strong and winning, with its bonbon spinning. Milady, you will do the bee style, determined and gentle, precision physical and mental. Meowpaw had no way to escape. The orangutans had him cornered. Was he going to face them or give up? He could fight with the frog tongue and use his battle cry. Meowpaw decided to face them. He knew Cat Fu moves better than anyone else. His frog style was legendary, unique, absolutely unbeatable. That day, Meowpaw fought against 99 ninja orangutans. And with that battle, Grandpa became a Cat Fu legend. Master Kato, we need you. Hmm? Be calm, milady. I have ears to hear, and I have been listening. This must be the disciple. What is his talent? Danger sense! Whenever he's hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Are you ready? There is but one steep way to the secrets of Cat Fu. Uh. I have to climb up there to learn cat foo. Look at the positive side. The way back down will be easy and fast. Cat foo is the art of agility and speed. Follow my steps. Wow. Use your imagination. Be unpredictable. Wow. Have courage. Every obstacle is an opportunity to improve. Watch me. Whoa! That was the leap and bounce move. Let's see what you can do. Well, I don't think... You can do it! Okay. Oops, sorry.
sorry. Every obstacle is... Come on! Too big. Your bonbon is strong. You can do a flying bonbon attack. Flying? Uh, I can barely jump. Come on, Meatball. Try. <laughs> jump! <laughs> bonbon attack! Because I wanted to reach the ultimate mastery of cat <laughs> foo. <laughs> Your progress in Cat Fu is most impressive, milady. Thank you, Master Kato. I think I'm ready. I'll face any challenge to achieve the ultimate mastery of Cat Fu. Wise words. But one obstacle lies in your path. You must defeat the Super Ninja. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nimble as a cat, quick as a cat, and stealthy as a cat. But he's not a cat. How can I defeat him? Brute force can't win, if that's your aim. You have to beat him at his own game. All right, Super Ninja. It's just the two of us. <laughs> 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 Huh? Uh, headlock! Yeah. That was easier than I thought. Huh? Uh, uh, huh? Uh, 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 Master Kato, hmm. how can I win? Brute force can't win, if that's your aim. I'll have to beat him at his own game. Congratulations, milady. By defeating the Super Ninja White Orangutan, you achieved ultimate mastery of Cat Fu. <laughs> That's because Lampo doesn't know Cat Fu. I do. <laughs> I'm going to teach you Cat Fu in order to bring out the best in you. Me not thirsty now. Cat Fu is the most ancient of the feline arts. It will teach you to control your power to start. Master Kato wants you to complete the obstacle course run. And the glass must stay full until you are done. Understand. Go! 
You are ruining my obstacle course. Bad. See, the glass is full. Oh. Oh. Igor did it. Yes. <laughs> Grandpa, I want to learn frog style. You might get confused during the show, milady. Don't worry, Grandpa. I won't. If you insist. Noodles in the fridge just for you. Mm. Mm. Uh, huh? Huh? What a strange meow. <laughs> oh, kitty, you're meowing like that because you're so hungry. Mm. Who's there? I thought I saw someone. Cuddly, it's so good to see you. Bobby Cats, Winston tricked Abdul. He promised him an art gallery to exhibit his masterpieces and Granny Pina's painting. What? Abdul is gonna bring Granny Pina a piece of paper and ask her to sign it. You're in danger. Huh? If Granny Pina signs that paper, Winston can bulldoze this house. We just gotta save the house! I've got a bubby brainstorm! We'll turn Granny Pina's house into an art gallery! If the house is a gallery and Abdul shows off all his art here, Granny won't have to sign anything! But how can we do that? We'll turn the house into a work of art! La Palette will help us! He is the artist cat! We're taking Granny's noodles with us! And for you, Catali, a little orange juice. Oh, thanks, Meatball. <laughs> Get on board, my furry fellows. I'll take you to your artist cat. Hello, Buffy Cats. This is Peppy, and she needs our help. Great! Hi, I'm Lampo. I'm Pilu. <laughs> And I'm Meatball! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Peppy, the great tightrope walking cat! <laughs> what a great trick! How'd you do it? Oh no, not again! Fantastic! You're a perfect clown. Uh, but I don't want to be a clown. I want to be 
a tightrope walker. <gasps> sure, Peppy. We'll help you to become a great tightrope walker. Right, Buffy Cats? It'll be awesome! <laughs> To keep your balance, you have to carefully put one paw in front of the other. Once you have that down, we'll try a simple stunt together. That's it! <sighs> now it's your turn. On it! <laughs> Good, but stay focused on how to place your paws. One after the other. That's boring! I want to do this! Possum, Peppy! Oh, <laughs> that was really funny! Funny? Lambo, I don't want my stunts to be funny! Well, but I mean, uh, that was nice! I want to be a tightrope walking cat! Sure. From now on, we'll all be super focused on your target, Peppy. I promise. Super focused! <laughs> we'll use a skateboard to practice your balance. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> as soon as you're confident, you can make the exercise more interesting by juggling more balls. <laughs> Try, let me try. It's super easy. Okay, now let's juggle balls too. No, no, I'll use these. Peppy, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> Save hope. Lucky split. Are you sure about this? It's very dark. Be careful, Terry. Of course. I've got night vision like any cat. But I'll show you. I'm not just a cat. I'm a fire cat. <laughs> dog playing with the cuckoo clock. <laughs> she hope the firefighter smiled at me. It's gonna be okay. <laughs> oh, save you! Terry, what are you doing? That isn't hope. Firefighter cat incoming! <laughs> Hurry the terrific! I'm sorry, Terry, but this isn't my baby hope. Really? Oh, now that I see it in the light, it doesn't look like Hope at all. That's where Hope is, on the roof of the tower. You're safe now, kitty. Meow. <laughs> 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 Bye, Buffy Cats. Bye, Terry. Oh, how embarrassing. If I keep messing up, I'll never become a great firefighter, cat. <laughs> See that blister? Terry thinks he's a cat. <laughs> and now he wants to be a fire cat. <laughs> yeah, Scab. We can have lots of fun with Terry. And I already have a plan. Follow me. <laughs> Terry, you got turned around in the dark. It's easy for us cats with our night vision. But you're a dog. You could have used your nose to find hope. Right. I gotta use my skills better to be a firefighter cat. <sighs> the Buffy Cats will help make your dream come true. 
But first, we're gonna have to fix the cuckoo clock. I'm tired. It'll take all night. Oh no! We forgot to save Pilu! Firefighter cats! When are you coming to save me? Kitties! My special guest is coming soon. Should I serve apricot filling or vanilla? Who do you think Granny Peen is talking about? I would eat both. No, maybe neither of them. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy! My little kitty is gonna love cupcakes. <laughs> little kitty? Uh, cupcakes? Buffy Cats, Granny Pina wants to take in another cat! We have to make sure she doesn't forget ah. us. <laughs> Oh, no time for tummy rubs now. My little one will be here any second. <laughs> Black currant. Oh, these cupcakes were a waste of time. <laughs> I think it's delicious. I'll cook something else for Isata. Who's Isata? Hi, Granny Pina. Isata, you're here. Oh. <laughs> Are you so Granny Pina did all this just for a human. <laughs> yeah, Lampo. And she called her Little Kitty. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, Granny, thanks for inviting me. It will be a special weekend. Isata, these are my kitties. Oh, they're so sweet. Hi, kitties. They are Lampo, Milady, Meatball, and Tender Little Pilu. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think they like me, Granny. Oh, no, Isata. They're very shy and very lazy. Now, let's get you settled in your room. <laughs> this is far worse than another cat. Yeah, Lampo, we can't compete with a human, especially a granddaughter. <laughs> or more like a hurricane. A nice hurricane anyway. You know what, Buffy Cats? Isata can stay here as long as she wants to. We'll just hang out here in our clubhouse. Oh, wow! Huh? This place is wonderful! <laughs> She's good at drums! But she's totally out of control, Pilu! Wow! An electric guitar! We'll be here less soon. This is a catastrophe. Buffy Cats, we have to find a way to ward off this human. Any ideas? What do you mean by ward off? I mean keep us safe from... <laughs> I just want to play with you. Just be your friend. She understands us. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? My whiskers are telling us the culprit is in there. Oh, this looks like the perfect place for a ghost cat. Meatball, <laughs> <laughs> ghosts don't exist. Leave it to me, Lampo. <laughs> the door is open. So we can go in. Come on, Meatball, be brief! Nothing you can say can convince me to go into this creepy house. Ugh. You know, Meatball, once we find the ghost, we'll also find the whipped cream. Huh? Hi! Uh, in that case, I'll go first. Buffy Cats, look! The missing boots, the flower, the top hat, and the whipped cream! We solved a mysterious mystery! <laughs> kind of. We found the objects, but the ghost cat is still missing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that? The, the, the ghost! Shh, Meatball. If he really exists, we'll lure him out. Taking the bait. Yeah. The bottle is moving by 
itself. Cats, my name is Whisper, and I'm a ghost who's tired of being invisible. I tried so many ways to become visible. I tried wearing a pair of boots, but then you could only see my paws. The flower flew away immediately. I tried to use the top hat. But it was too big for me. I even ate a lot of whipped cream. But it melted right away. And it gave me the hiccups. Whisper, you don't have to steal. It's wrong. Yes, I know. Can you forgive me? I'm sorry, but I didn't know what else to do. Don't worry, Whisper. You're excused. <laughs> <laughs> I always knew ghost cats exist. I'm out of milk. I'll only be visible one day. Then what will I do? Oh, <laughs> my furry fellow, welcome to the most possum treasure hunt ever! This is our starting line. The competitors will have to figure out a series of clues to find the treasure, and whoever finds it first is the winner! You must be talking about me, am I right? Will our winner be La Palette in his flying car? Mm -hmm. It's a Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine. Or will it be Archibald McArchibald in his hot air balloon? Win or lose, it's how you play that matters. Or gas, thanks to his jet balloons. Of course, all my stink is loaded in here. Um, most of it, anyway. <laughs> or will Meatball be the winner with his flying backpack? Uh... Go, Meatball Soar! You like flying, but eating even more! That's right! I am pretty hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Competitors, keep this in mind! Anyone who touches the ground will be disqualified. Are you ready? The flying treasure hunt starts now! That is a flyer for the Egyptian Museum exhibit! See you there! <laughs> Off they go! Come on, Meepo! La Lat is in the lead! Archibald is right behind him. Gas in third. And Meatball is last by a wide margin. But there's still a long way to go. A long way? I'm tired and hungry already. Oh, my whiskers. A restaurant. I gotta focus. Gotta focus. Smells so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yummy. Now that's better. We're looking at La Palette and Archibald. Neck and neck for the lead. But wait, gas is catching up. And Meatball is still last. What are you trying to do, Gas? Trying to overtake you, La Palette. Be careful not to hit my wing. Huh? <laughs> What a turn of events! La Palette has lost control of his flying car! Let's go see what's going on. Winston is playing golf! <laughs> <laughs> Another one. 
I'm the champion. Right, my beloved boss? Make room for Winston, the golf champion. Applause, please. <laughs> Winston, a champion? Huh? <laughs> Shut it, Buffy losers. Winston and I are top class golfers. No, you're a top class braggart. Hmm. I've even set up a tournament to prove how good I am. A golf tournament? Good, count me in. It's a tournament for champions only, and you are not a golf champion. <laughs> you're not inviting me because you're afraid to lose. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not inviting you because you don't know how to play. <laughs> Take it easy, Lampo. When you learn how to play golf, Boss will invite you. But I already know how to play, Milady, and I'll prove it. <laughs> <laughs> Meatball, come with me. Stay out of trouble, Lampo. Boss didn't invite you. Huh? Ha! -ha! <laughs> That's why the one going to the tournament will be Sir Lamp, the rooster cat golfer. And meet Paul, his loyal assistant. Meatball? <laughs> I'm gonna have a snack with Lampo. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Boss, the course is all ready for the golf tournament. Thanks for agreeing to be our referee, Edison. I always play fair. <laughs> I'm ready to play. My ball will reach the moon. It looks like we're all here. I don't see any players apart from Snobbean and Cosmo. Just two challengers showed their faces. The others were all afraid of you, boss. <laughs> all right, let's begin. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. Six times seven is 42. <laughs> Plus two makes 44. Ready or not, here I come. Aha! That bonbon looks familiar. Meepo, I found you! Are you hurt, Meepo? Uh, no, Izata. I always have a soft landing. <laughs> Meepo has a rear airbag. <laughs> <laughs> what a catastrophe! Huh? My tooth is wiggly. What do I do? You can ask my cat for help. Mimi is a doctor for kittens. She can definitely help with your teeth. I guess I'll be fixing this light on my own then. Oh. Don't worry, Meatball. Milady and I will lend you a paw. Bye bye, Buffy Cats. Bye, Zata. See you later. Bye. <laughs> There's Mimi's ambulance. Hello, little one. What's your name? My name's Pilu. Nice to meet you, Pilu. Please come in. Have a seat. What's troubling you, Pilu? My tooth is wiggly. Okay. May I have a look? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh... Oh, it's okay, Pilu. It's perfectly normal. A loose tooth ready to fall out. I don't want it to fall out. It's a baby tooth. A grown-up tooth will grow in its place. But I like baby teeth, especially mine. Then you and I will care for that tooth together. Now I must check up on the neighborhood kittens. Would you like to be my assistant? Yes! I'm so ready, Mimi. Let's go! <laughs> What's up, baby pie? I want 
needed to get the ball out of the jar, but my paw got stuck. I'll never get it out. I'll have a paw in the jar forever. Don't worry, Baby Pie. We'll just cool the jar and free your paw. <gasps> I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Let's go see Cream, the ice cream maker cat. Possum idea, Pilu. Don't worry, Baby Pie. We'll solve this problem in a minute. I'm ready for our next good deed. We're doing great, Scribbly. Now write down what I tell you. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, no. This is no good. Uh, we can't do any more good deeds now. We need a new tire. <sighs> Huh. Huh. Scribbly, uh, what'd you write huh? in your message? Don't worry, boss. One of your furry fellows will do us a good deed uh -huh. real soon. Milady, look, another one of those messages. Uh -huh. We need a new tire for our sidecar. We're at the park entrance. Who could have written it? I don't know, Meatball. Let's go find out. Why did you send that message? But, boss, I just did what you taught me to. Oh, no. The Buffy Cats. Hey, boss. So you're the one who needs a new tire. And you're the one who sent the messages. No, I did. My name is Scribbly. Hi, Scribbly. Did you write a bunch of those messages? Yeah. I wanted to lend a paw. Boss is my good friend, and I've been helping him do good deeds. What good deeds? I hate good deeds. Scribbly, maybe you didn't know, but Boss's good deeds are just pranks. Well, at least this once, Boss was helpful. He's given the Buffy Cats the chance to do a good feline deed for him. No, uh -huh. I don't want anyone to help me, especially you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am so sorry, Buffy Cats. I just wanted to do good deeds and make new friends with my messages. <gasps> I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Scribbly, could you lend us a paw and write the invitations for our concert? Huh? Ah, I'm ready. Huh? Boss, the Buffy Cats invite you to their concert tonight? Like I go and listen to that third-rate music. Hey, Boss, give us the invitation then. It can be your good deed for today. I've had enough of you and your good deeds. Now I'm going to show you some of my good pranks. Welcome to our annual scooter race for kittens. And say hello to our little racers, Scribbly. <laughs> Baby Pie! <laughs> Kilo! <laughs> now that the kittens are all here, the race can begin! Wait! <laughs> I'm coming too! Uh, hello, Terry. But uh, you're not a kitten. Yes, I am, Gabby. I can meow like kittens. Meow! I wash like kittens. <laughs> Hmm? And I can make sweet eyes like kittens. Of course. You can join the other kittens, little Terry. Yay! Terry the kitty together with all the kitties! Dear kitties, your first challenge is to twirl elegantly from one ramp to another. The first to go will be Pilu! <laughs> <laughs> A truly refined stunt. Congratulations, Pilu. Scribbly, your turn now. I came to the race to meet new friends, but I don't know if I can handle challenges like this. Don't worry, Scribbly. If you need help, I'll lend you a paw. Thanks, Terry. You're a good friend. No. Oh. A perfect stunt! Well done, Scribbly. And now it's up to... Uh, where's Terry? For a super jump, you need a super running start! Make way! Terry, 
That stunt of yours was truly dizzying. Oh, wait, Katie Moon, we're coming to lend you a paw. Uh, I'm sorry, Snappy. My stunt didn't work so good. You did great, though, Baby <laughs> Pie. Here, you deserve a nice ice cream. Ah, thanks, Cream. Our second challenge was designed by Gas, <laughs> the Stinky Cat. I made an obstacle course along the sidewalks in town using... Trash! <laughs> you don't just have to avoid the obstacles. You also gotta pick up one of these flags before you get to the end. Get ready, set, go! Cub, can you hear me? They're on their way. Okay, Gabby, I'll handle this. Safety first. <laughs> These are two-tone cat treats? Delicious. <laughs> Anchovy and raspberry flavor. I don't get it, boss. Why did you give the Buffy cats those cat treats? Scab, each treat is super concentrated. You eat one and it's like a hundred normal ones. The Buffy losers are gonna be so full, they won't even be able to move for a nice long while. <laughs> oh, I get it, boss. So we'll have the run of the place. Mm -hmm. Buffy cats, I just ate one, but I'm already so full. Oh. I just ate five treats. This is the last one left. Oh. Oops. What do I do now? <laughs> Wow, that's a first. Like eating a cat treat, put upside down. Good morning, cat friend. Something <laughs> smells like a cat treat. <laughs> cat treat, cat treat, cat treat! Hey, me, Paul! <laughs> me, Paul, what's up? I'm chasing a cat with a cat treat. It escaped through the mirror. Huh? Buffy cats? Me, Paul huh? just went into the mirror? He's gone. We gotta follow him. We can't let me, Paul, go alone. <laughs> 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 Thanks for coming to help, Buffy Cats. Oh, there he is, with the cat treat. <laughs> cat treat, cat treat. <laughs> Everything is upside down! <laughs> and of course it is! You passed through the mirror! Welcome to the upside down world! This world is possum! Here's what I found! Black! Super black! Hmm. Boss got a lemon again, and this time it's black! Hmm. There's something wrong with that lemon. Boss, Blister oh. Scab, you're nearly at the last square. Then Scab can eat the giant cake. Oh, oh no. Boss was faster than me again. It's not your fault, Lampo. Boss brought back something the wrong color. Half the lemon is black, but the other half is yellow. See? Boss just painted it black. Oh! Oh! Wow! Painting the lemons was genius, boys! Quiet, Scab! According to the rules, if you bring back the wrong color, you get a super penalty. No! You can't give my team the super penalty now! 
I'm sorry, boss. It's the rules. Meatball, you can eat all the cakes now and reach Scab on the giant cake square. Finally, I get to play! Don't worry, boss. It's too much cake. He'll never make it. No! Go, Meatball! No way! Now things are getting serious. Well, Yum Yum Cats, you've come to the final challenge. The first one who eats the giant cake wins. Go, Meatball! Hey. We can still win! <laughs> really good! <laughs> I'm just too full. What are you doing, Scab? Eat that cake right now! I eat too much, boss. My belly hurts. I have to do everything myself. Huh? No. Uh, this cake is too big for me, too. <laughs> yum Yum Cat Meatball has eaten all the cake. Hooray! All right! The winners of Cat Calls Color are the Buffy Cats! We turned the tables on you again, boss. I didn't feel like playing this game anyway. And I don't like cake. If you don't like it, boss, I'll eat it for you. It's not over, Buffy Cats. I'm gonna win the next challenge. Well, your spray can trick was a nice move, boss. Ugh, shut up, Scab. You weren't even able to eat a cake. Hi, Sushi. What the heck? I've got the hachi. I took the makisu. Here's the fresh fish. Amazing. You found just about everything we need. Are you ready? Time to make sushi. in Tokyo's best restaurants. Kitties! Isata! Sushi! Where are you, my darlings? Mmm, what a nice smell. Is it coming from the kitchen? Granny Pina is coming. Take your places. Hi, Granny. <laughs> Isata, dear. What are you doing in the kitchen? I have a super surprise for you. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. We have a super surprise for you, Granny. Sushi? Oh, that's so sweet. You brought a taste of Japan right to my house. Mm. Mm. Delicious. You were really good cook, Izata. They deserve the credit, too. Sushi came up with the idea. Arr, arr, arr. Lampo, Milady, Pilu, and Meatball went into town and got all the ingredients. <coughs> and then we all cooked together. <laughs> it sounds like you had some very special helpers. Time to eat the sushi. Uh, uh, eating sushi is hard. Not for me, Lampo. Uh, Meatball, mm -hmm. you're great at eating sushi. No, I'm great at eating anything. <laughs> Listen, my tribe. Wild saber tooth tiger. We get the tiger for tribe. Yeah. You'll never get me. <laughs> 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 My furry fellows, look. <laughs> A real 
Ooh, dinosaur! Prehistoric dinosaur in need of lots of cuddles. Aww, it's so sweet! Dinosaurs are really intelligent creatures. Pilu, it's not a real dinosaur. It's made of plastic. It doesn't matter, Lampo. We absolutely have to adopt him. <laughs> the dinosaur's camera works perfect. Are you sure you want to adopt a toy, Pilu? Yes, my lady. Great, Pilu. Adopt the dinosaur. <laughs> but where will we keep him? It's not a thinking toy. You can tell because its brain is so small. No! I can't see anything! Stop it, Meatball! Stop it, Meatball! <gasps> you know my name? So you're a thinking toy after all. Buffy Cats, the dinosaur just talked. He said my name. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Whoever can do the loudest dinosaur roar gets to take care of the plastic dinosaur all day. Me first. This is the roar of the Triceratops. <laughs> it's my turn now. This is the roar of the T-Rex. <laughs> Come on, Meatball, it's your turn. <laughs> um. Sorry, that's the roar of a brontosaurus who ate too much. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn now, Pilu. All right, I'll do the roar of a prehistoric butterfly. <clears throat> Buffy Cats, I guess she wins. Here you go, Pilu. Today, you're gonna take care of the plastic dinosaur. Yeah! Welcome to our first ever Creative Recycling Day! Here you go, Lampo. My favorite tire. We made so many memorable races together. Thank you, Wrench. Pilu, I brought a box of old lucky horseshoes. But they've run out of luck. We'll put them to good use, Neko. <laughs> um, ah! This one for you. Now Igor lift up much heavier things. Yeah. Well, I can believe it, Igor. <laughs> We've collected tons of old and broken things. What should we do with all of them? We can turn them into a playground for the park. What do you think? That's a possum, Buffy Brainstorm, lady. Can't we have a snack first? Ha! <laughs> I'm hungry. Netball, you never change. You can eat later. For now, let's get to work. Yes. Hmm. We'll build a Buffy merry-go-round over there, and a cat boat over there, and then a feline spaceship there. There they are with their creative recycling day. Cool! Can we go play, boss? Can we? Oh, yeah, can we? Can we? Blister and scab! Can it! Whoa. You did a top notch job, Buffy Cats. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. But they are missing something. Something to make them go. Hmm. Let me see what we have here. Hmm. A suspension spring, an old hand drill, and a ball bearing. Here we go. These will come in handy. Those are mine. <laughs> We're yours, boss. I want them back right now. Is that clear? And there we go. It's awesome! Now it's time to play! <laughs> 
on munch, on crunch, on nibble. The cats of the world are waiting for their Christmas gifts, and we're right on time. Merry Christmas, little bird with the acorn. <coughs> Stop! What are you doing? Ah! Hey! Stop chasing the acorn! Our Christmas gifts are falling! Buffy cats, be good. Granny is making noodles, and she may even give us Christmas gifts. Meatball, Lampo, stop playing with Christmas lights. I didn't do anything. And it wasn't my belly either, for once. Let's go out and check, Puffy Cat. <laughs> oh, what to do? What will Santa Claus say? Santa Claus? Uh, I'm Glitter, one of Santa's little helpers. Tonight, I have to deliver gifts to cats all over the world. But I dropped them when flying above your town. Mm, it must be tasty. If I can't deliver all the gifts tonight, Santa Claus won't let me be his helper anymore. <laughs> Don't worry, Glitter. We're the Buffy Cats. We always lend a paw to those in need. <laughs> we'll help you find all the gifts you lost. Oh, my meatballs! Can we do it in time? Glitter said he has to deliver them tonight. Of course we can. We'll get all the energy we need from... Kitty! The noodles are ready. Granny Tina's noodles! Enjoy your Buffy meal, friends. Us has better luck? Mm. Ha, good idea! I love games of chance. Here we are, Meatball! This is where I usually find four leaf clovers. I don't see any. Because you're not as lucky as I am. Pilu, I'll find more than Neko. Huh? Hmm? What's wrong, Neko? Shouldn't you be looking? You don't find luck. It finds you. Wow! So many four-leaf clovers! See? The four-leaf clovers found me! I found a bunch. It was just luck that you ended up with them, Neko. Like you said, luck. I'm not giving up. I'll prove I'm lucky. Hello, my furry fellows. What can I do for you? Hello, Piperita. We're here for a game. Meatball wants to prove he's luckier than Neko. Come in. I've got just the thing for you. Fish croquettes? So tasty! But how is this a game of chance? It says in the box you could find a golden anchor pendant inside. Yes, but only one box out of a hundred. It takes good luck to find it. I'll try. Luck is on my side today. Go ahead, Meatball. They're all on the house. It's not in here. Not here either. Not even here. Maybe there is no pendant. Uh, 
I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm actually full. Oop. <laughs> Neko, hmm. want some croquettes? I can't eat another bite at the moment. <laughs> oh, were we supposed to find an anchor charm? Yes. Huh? I found it. <gasps> Neko, you lead a charmed life. Huh? Don't be sad, Meatball. Neko just had a bit more luck than you. <laughs> okay, but I ate a lot more croquettes than he did. <laughs> Great job, Baby Pie. Your super shot never fails. If only yeah. your super shot could solve this heat problem. What we need right now is... Huh? <gasps> ice cream! Ice cream! Hey, it's Cream, the ice cream maker cat. I'm so happy to hear that, bell. I really want a refreshing ice cream. Cream! My sweet cream! We're right here! Hi, Cream. I'd like all the flavors you have. <laughs> I'll even take the hairball flavor. I'm sorry, my furry fellows. Okay, then make me a cone with all the other flavors. Excuse me, I'm first. <laughs> I'd love to help you, but there's a problem. I don't have any ice cream left. But I need an ice cream. It's so hot today. All the cats in town need one, but I don't know what to do. My ice cream machine isn't working. Cream, don't worry. The Buffy Cats will help you. Right, Buffy Cats? Mm -hmm. And Baby Pie will pitch in, too. <laughs> I just want plenty of ice cream. Thank you. I'm going to need all your help. Come with me. <laughs> This is the machine that I use to produce all my ice cream. Wow! Awesome! I wish it was. It completely stopped working this morning, and I don't know what happened. How will I supply all the neighborhood cats with ice cream? I want to make it by paw, but that's such a big job! You're gonna need a lot of paws, then. We'll help you make the ice cream. You just need to show us how to do it. And I'll be the taste tester to check if it's good. <laughs> All right, Buffy Cats. With your help, maybe we can make enough ice cream for everyone. For everyone? And me too. Okay, Lampo, the chickens will lay the eggs up there. When they come down into the washing machine, they'll mix with the sugar. I got it, Cream. Milady, you need to get the milk and the cream over to the mixer first. When the milk simmers, it will foam. You can count on me, Cream. Pilu, you'll run the mixer. Run it smoothly so that milk, eggs, and sugar mix evenly. Mmm, <sighs> fresh fruit! No, Meatball. We need the fruit to make the right proportions into the mixer. Buffy Cats, is everyone ready to make ice cream? Yes, Cream! Would it be so bad if I have just one little banana right now? Wait, Meatball. We're gonna need that banana. Think of all the ice cream we're about to make. All the cats are counting on us. Oh. Cream, you can count on me. Good. Everyone ready? Buffy Cats, camping is possum. Ha-ha! <laughs> Marshmallow roasting time! I'm sorry, Meatball, uh, but I don't think you can roast marshmallows over that light. Huh? I know, Lampo, but it creates the proper camping atmosphere. We should all stick pretty close to the lantern anyways. The mysterious white orangutan might be lurking in the park tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, m'lady. Nobody believes he really exists. Are you kidding, Bucky? The white orangutan is totally real. His white fur shines in the night. He can move super fast under cover of darkness. And everyone knows the white orangutan has a soft spot for bananas. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Buffy Cats, but this whole thing is just too funny. Okay, Bucky, listen to my story about the white orangutan, and then you'll understand. One day, I was taking a walk in town with no clue that danger was around the corner. The white orangutan is on the clock tower! Huh? Oh no! He's got Fleur! <laughs> this is Kay. Encircle the white orangutan. This is him. Got it. We gotta get closer. This is Z. But not too close. Uh-oh. Snap! No. Ah! No. Retreat! We need an alternate means of attack. They weren't able to free Fleur. Looks like it's time for Lampo to leap into action. This orangutan has no idea who he's messing with. Oh. Lampo, oh. good thing you're here. Don't worry, Fleur. I'll save you. <laughs> Watch it, you white orangutan. I've got a banana, and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh. <laughs> 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 It's about time to get our feet back on the ground. Oh, Lampo. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> After this super rehearsal, tonight's concert is gonna rock. Sure, Lampo. But let's finish with a big drum roll courtesy of Pilu. You got it, m'lady. But where is Pilu? Make way for the king! <laughs> Buffy Cats, are you ready for tonight's concert? More than ready, Pilu. My solo is gonna rock! No, no, Lampo. I'm talking about Cherry, Lolly, and Betty's Possum concert. They're the Pinkie Paws, my favorite cat pop band. Can we go, please, please, please? Milady, how can we say no to her? All right, Pilu. We'll take you to the Pinkie Paws concert. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Isn't the concert tonight? Well, yeah, Lampo. But in a few minutes, the Pinkie Paws are having a meet and greet for their fans at the park. I can't miss it! Let's take my car. It'll be faster. <laughs> Start the propeller, Meepaw! <laughs> All this waiting around is making me hungry. Oh, hi, Gas. You're here too? Yep. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the Pinky Paws as well. Welcome, Welcome to the Pinky Fans Meet and Greet. We have a surprise for you today. Would you like to spend the entire day hanging out with the Pinky Paws? Great. But let's see if you can handle our trivia question. <gasps> what is the Pinkie Paws favorite food? Me! I know it! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, fish pate! Not too salty! <sighs> That's correct! Pilu! Does that mean I win? Yes, Pilu! You won an entire day with the Pinkie Paws! Cherry, Lolly, Betty. Hmm. What do you think of your fans, Pinkie Paws? You're all beautiful! Yeah. Now, Pilu, our stars will hang out at your house today. Hello, Kitty Cat. Will you help us prep for tonight's concert? Of course I'll help, and my furry fellows too. Cherry called me Kitty Cat? 
So exciting! <laughs> <laughs> Your car awaits to take you to our house. Milady, could you drive the Pinkie Paws home, please? Of course, Pilu. Kitties, I'm off to the mountains for the weekend to visit my cousin Lucinda. Don't worry, I left you plenty of food. More than enough for a few days. Bye-bye, <coughs> kitties. Be good. Are you ready, Buffy Cats? Of course, Lampo. Let's zip over to the clubhouse and rehearse our new song. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> It's a C-note on her face. Maple burps. It's not my fault. My belly is empty, and I'm hungry. <laughs> Meatball is right. It's dinner time already. <laughs> is there something yummy? Of course, Meatball. Didn't you hear Granny left us plenty of food? <laughs> 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 I'm still hungry. <laughs> Wait a sec. This is the extra food Granny left us. If I eat it all, what'll I do for the next few days? Well, <laughs> at least I can taste it. <laughs> Uh, I think I'll go to bed. Me too, Pilu. You coming, Meatball? Took a walk to help my stomach, but <sighs> but he'll settle for snoring. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's practice dancing. <laughs> ah, <all right. laughs> yeah. You're great, m'lady. Yeah. Do you want to perform tonight at our circus? Huh? Actually. Dancing in front of people makes me nervous. Yeah, maybe it's the same for Bongo. Hmm. Who is Bongo? The legendary white orangutan. He's the best tango dancer, but he's run away. We can't find him anywhere. Did you try to lure him out with a banana? Oh. We left bananas everywhere, Meatball, but it was no use. Okay. Oh. 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 Come on, Chalk. Let's go look for him some more. Oh, I feel bad for Milky and Chalk. But we can help them. Buffy Cats, my whiskers can find the white orangutan. <laughs> Great! My whiskers are telling us that Bongo is inside our clubhouse? <laughs> Hi, Bongo greets Kitty. <laughs> You're the white orangutan? <laughs> Bongo, why did you run away? Milky and Chalk have been looking for you. Um, Bongo doesn't know how to dance. Someone's just told a lie. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, you're right. Bongo knows how to dance, but Bongo has a problem. Wow, you're unstoppable. This performance will be the best ever. 
All those people scared Bongo. Bongo was afraid of making a mistake in front of everyone. You can do it, Bongo. So Bongo ran away. So you came here to hide, right? Huh? We'll help you overcome your fear, Bongo. Lampo is right. The show is tonight, Bongo. You can't disappoint Milky and Chalk. To beat your fear, you need to practice. <gasps> I've got a Buffy brainstorm. We have enough apples. <sighs> are we done? I'm so tired. Only the eggs are missing now, Pilu. We'll have to use these corn seeds to get eggs. First, we need to sow. When the corn is ready for harvest, we'll have food for the hens. What? Do we have to wait until harvest time? No, no. When the hens see that you did this for them, they'll thank you with some eggs. Okay, we can help you. Sowing seeds should be simple. Nothing is simple on a farm. Everything requires effort. Please, be careful. Lampo, what did Corny mean? I have no idea. Anyway, sowing seeds is pretty easy, and it's so quiet here. <laughs> um, Pilu, maybe it's better not to feed him? But he's just one bird, and he's so cute! Oh, my <laughs> meatballs! They're eating all the seeds! Oh, what do we do now? <laughs> shoo! Shoo, shoo! No! Hey! Shoo! Shoo! We're sorry, Corny. Unfortunately, the birds ate all the seeds. Yeah, it always happens to me, too. Birds eat seeds, and I don't know a good way to keep them away. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Birds are afraid of scarecrows. Buffy cats, let's build one using our creative recycling. Hmm. I never thought of that before, but it's going to be a snap. The farm is full of old objects that can be recycled. Okay, let's try. Uh, hurry up before they come back. Oh, they're coming! Oh no! Everyone, hi! It's working! <gasps> the scarecrow keeps the birds away! Yes! The birds won't eat the seeds ever again! We did it! Hooray! Good morning, kitties. How about some nice noodles? Oh dear, there's only one serving left. Well then, I'll just whip up some more delicious noodles. <gasps> Here's my rolling pin. Oh, I'm a little out of shape. Before rolling the dough, I'd better warm up with some granny karate. Yeah! <laughs> my rolling pin. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stay right here, kitties. The road can be dangerous. You see? Look at all those cars. Hmm. The rolling pin is safe. Maybe there's still time to... Oh! Or maybe not. Oh. 
But how can I whip up some noodles without my rolling pin? Oh, this is terrible. I can't live without Granny <gasps> Pina's noodles. My furry fellows, we have to help Granny find a new rolling pin. You're right, Lampo. But how? I've got a Buffy brainstorm. Wait here. Jump on board! I know who can help us. <laughs> Granny said that this is the last serving left. We need to take care of it. Oh. <laughs> Pasta! We're going on a trip! Buffy cats, let's go visit Neko, the lucky cat. He always has lots of useful things. My friends, the Buffy Cats. What brings you to see your pal Neko? Hi, Neko. We're looking for a rolling pin. Granny Pina needs it to roll the dough for her noodles. I know exactly what you're talking about, Lampo. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> Great, thank you. Wait, Lampo. If you want this to be reborn as Granny Pina's true rolling pin, you'll have to follow the special instructions. What, what instructions? instructions? Do everything that is written on this parchment, and the rolling pin will be ready. Are you sure it's going to work and be as good as Granny's rolling pin? Don't worry about that for now. Follow the instructions first. I'll see you later in Granny Pina's garden. <laughs> There's cream! I really want an ice cream. Hey. Wait for me here and be good. Here's your ice scone, Pilu. Thanks, cream! <laughs> here we go, Hope. Aren't you happy to be at the park? Hope, my love. You're a big girl now, and big girls don't use pacifiers. <laughs> Fine, but sooner or later you'll have to give it up. Be good. This kitty treat flavor is possum. Let's go back home, Kelly. Hi, Cream. Can I have an ice cream? Here you are, Lola. Thank you. Bye, Cream. Good thing Hope didn't wake up. <gasps> Wait. Where's Hope? What a nice walk we had, right, Kelly? <sighs> now, after all that exercise, I need a nap, too. <sighs> Sleep tight, Kelly. I didn't know Kelly could cry. Either you turned into a kitten, or I took the wrong stroller. Please, kitty, don't cry. Look at me, look at me. I'm a clown. Not working, but I gotta find a way to calm her down. Twinkle, twinkle, little kitty. Sleep and you'll be really pretty. <laughs> I've got a Buffy brainstorm. I'll show her my toys from when I was a baby. Look, you like it? In here. See anything you like? What did you take, Kitty? That pacifier was a gift. But I'd already outgrown them and I never used it. What are you doing? You're too old for pacifiers. Come on, give my pacifier back. It's mine. If this is the only thing that will stop you crying, you can have it. 
But just until I find your mommy. Edison wrench, good idea. Cassettes will be awesome with all these balloons. <laughs> Let's leave the poor. Bye bye. Pocket glitter and frisbee. <laughs> I'm cooking my special paella for tonight. Want to taste meatball? Some spice will make it really special. <laughs> yes, Piperita. <sighs> <laughs> it's really spicy! Too spicy! Ah! Need something to drink, Meatball? Ah! Delicious, what is it? Super duper crazy triple carbonated orange soda. Hey, I'm flying! <laughs> Come on, Boom Boom Steppers. Put your paws in the right places. Come on, hmm. Uncle Archibald, set the pace. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you paused up! Make the steps a little more difficult. <laughs> These dance moves are getting too difficult. <laughs> Help! Get us down! Blister, scab, on it. <laughs> oh no, what a mess! You can't dance on this carpet. It's is impossible. <laughs> And why are those darts here? <laughs> <laughs> Hold it, you three. What are you hiding? Nothing. We're just having a lot of fun. Lampo, these darts pop the balloons. Yeah, boss. And you made me drink the super duper crazy triple carbonated orange soda. Also, who put paint buckets on the ice cream cart? What about the fishing rod and the pepper? What are you saying, Lampo? I mean you, Blister and Scab. Ah, oh, you did a possum job. We did. We did what? <laughs> Look, my furry fellows. Oh. Boss Blister and Scab turned the set into a true work of art. <laughs> but what? No. I, I mean yes, a true work of art. Thanks, Buffy Cats. Good thing you finally understand. We helped you with a talent for mischief. Yeah, the musical will be possum thanks to you two. You're lucky to have mischievous cat friends like us. Come on, let the 44 Cats musical begin! <laughs> Not impressive. Your act was a hit, Igor. <laughs> and now, kitties and gentle cats, the performance you've all been waiting for, the clown. Too bad. And now, for my next trick. Huh? <laughs> uh -huh. What do you think now? It's only a trick, Pilu. But I'm just not exactly sure what it is. I need a helper from the audience. Want to help me, little kitty? <gasps> me? Yes. Come into the ring. Wow. Sure, Mr. Clown Cat. And now, the magic closet trick. <laughs> Count to three and check that nobody gets out of here. One, two, three. <laughs> I must be seeing things. But how? That's impossible. <laughs> Cat can appear and disappear? Yeah. With his power, if he teamed up with us, no one could stop us. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You're an awesome audience. No matter what I do, my twin brother Milky gets all the credit. Uh, if only I could get my chance. You're the famous clown cat, aren't you? Uh, no. I mean, 
not really. I mean, yes! You are too good for this circus. Come with us, and I'll make sure you get your chance. Thank you, thank you! You're an oh, awesome yeah. audience! Yeah, I am too good. Can I have your autograph? You were possum? Out of the way, Pilu. <laughs> <laughs> Just rude. Boss, Blister, and Scab? What are they doing here? I don't know, m'lady, but if the clown cat is their friend, I'm sure they're up to no good. Let's go home, Pilu. What good kitties you are. Not like you two. No! Help me! Stop fighting! Hi, Sandy. What's up with Bucky and Zoe? <sighs> they just can't get along. <laughs> you know, I'd give anything for an afternoon to relax. But who would take care of them? Us! We'll be your dog sitters. <sighs> Milady, would you? We'll teach Bucky and Zoe how to get along just like we do. Never argue after all. <laughs> I mean, almost never. Don't mess with my chicken. <laughs> Your puppies are in good hands. I don't know how to thank you, Lampo. I'll be back in the afternoon. And you two, be good, okay? <laughs> We'll be super good, Mommy. Don't worry, we won't argue. <laughs> Getting them to stop arguing will be hard, m'lady. Buffy Cats, I've got an idea. You're not too bad yourself. Music brings everyone together, Lampo. Ouch! You stepped on my delicate paw! You're the one who put it under mine. That didn't take long. They started fighting the second the music ended. No problem. If the music's over, then it's game time! Welcome to the first annual Granny Pina Cup! The teams will be the Bow Wows, made up of Bucky and Zoe. Uh, do I have to play? I don't want this mud to get my fur dirty. Ooh. And the Meow Meows, Meatball and Pilu. Lampo and I will be the referees. <laughs> and remember, to win, you've got to work as a team. Kitties, on the way home, I found some beautiful puppy blooms. Ah, lovely. Smell them. <laughs> it's so lucky that I found them. I guess I can thank. Oh, my lucky locket. I lost it. Oh. Oh, no. And I'm late to Pepina's birthday party. I'll have to look for it later. We have to find Granny's locket. How? Milady, it could be anywhere. <laughs> Don't worry. My whiskers will lead us right to the locket. She probably dropped it when she found the flowers. Buffy Cats, oh. let's go. <laughs> we gotta have that locket. Let's follow them. This way, Buffy Cats! <laughs> Lampo, where are you taking us? My whiskers are telling us the locket is somewhere flowers grow. Hey, the river is that way! <laughs> Oh, no. The river. The cat catcher hides there and tries to catch stray cats. Oh, oh, I'm really 
hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. That means danger. Yeah, because the river is scary. <laughs> Not as scary as us. Blister and scab. <laughs> yeah, we know who we are. <laughs> So, your human lost your lucky locket. We'll help you find it. You will? Uh -huh. <gasps> mm. You're lying! Ja, finders keepers. Loses weepers! <laughs> 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 Watch out! Uh, it's red! Oh no! They're way ahead! A submarine? Are you serious? Well, it's just... we thought... Seriously cool! I've always dreamed of building one, and I'd be happy to help. Under one condition. What condition? Huh? I get to be Captain Wrench. Is that clear, sailors? Yes, yes sir, sir, Captain Sir. Hmm? Well, what do you think, Buffy Cats? Wow, it's a real submarine. You're the best, Wrench. So, what are you waiting for? Get on board. <laughs> <laughs> No laying down on the job, sailors. All hands on deck. We've got a pearl to find. But there are no pearls in the river. All rivers flow into the ocean. Milady, that's where you'll find what you're looking for. <laughs> Easy on that wheel. Oops. Periscope, any pearls in sight? Pilu? <laughs> Negative, Captain Wrench. Depth control, take us down a bit more. Right away, Captain Wrench. Lampo, keep us from running aground. Don't worry, Captain. My whiskers are telling us we're right on course. <laughs> Rock on our port side, Meatball. Straighten up and then full speed ahead. Driving under the sea is the best! We don't even have to worry about getting stuck in traffic. Pearl, sighted to starboard. <laughs> Beautiful! Crew, prepare a recovery operation. Turn on the light of the periscope. The pincer is in position, Captain. Ooh. Here we are. Piperita is waiting in the kitchen. I don't see her. Huh? There she is. Oh, sweet little kitties. They're your friends. Am I right? <laughs> no. Hey, what a hurry. You must be really hungry. How about tasting some house specials from Alfredo's refined kitchen? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Huh? Uh, that's Alfredo's ragu. A true delight. Don't even think about it, Meatball! <laughs> Oh, where did I put that label? Do you see it, Piperita? No. I'm sorry. I've got no time to play. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> Silly me. I had it in my hand the whole time. <laughs> Sorry about that, the Tomcat. Here's some of my ragu to make up for it. My furry fellows, thanks to my tail, there's now ragu for everybody. So, you're a chef too? I'm trying to learn by watching Alfredo cook. Want to taste one of my fancy dishes? <laughs> this ragu is so good, I can't pull myself away. <laughs> also, my head is stuck. Oh. I'll help you. Poor Wampo! Are you okay, Meatball? Yes, but all these jars are making me hungry. Do you have anything cooking? Hmm. Oh. Stuffed casserole! A super fancy recipe! Awesome! How can we possibly eat all of this? We'll invite some friends over. Welcome, my furry fellows. I'm sure you'll love my stuffed casserole. Go ahead. Yeah. It smells horrid, Lampo. What is it? Oh, poor me. Poor me. It's gas. The stinky cat. <laughs> I'm so sad. Go away. Leave me alone with my pain. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Oh, I'm suffering. Oh, I'm so suffering. <laughs> I want to be alone. Goodbye, puppy cat. <laughs> Poor us, too! How can we calm him down? What happened, Gas? Why didn't you tell us? No, no, no! <laughs> Come on, Gas! Please! <laughs> We're your cat friends! You can tell us anything. Yeah, okay. The truth is... Is Snuppy, <gasps> the new cat in the neighborhood. I like her. Oh, she's so kind. She's so nice, so smart, and above all, so perfumey. She's just too different from me. Don't say that, Gas. Oh no, here she comes. Huh? <laughs> <gasps> <gasps> Gas is right. She is too different from him. Hmm. Never mind that. You can't judge a cat by its coat. <laughs> Just show your face and be yourself. That's right. Go up to her and smile. But first... <laughs> first, you'll need to take a bath. A bath? <laughs> Where is he hiding? Over there! <gasps> he left his stick inside the house! <laughs> Come on, Gas. We can help you get rid of your smell. Lambo, I don't want to. I like it. We're inseparable. I'll handle this. Prepare the bathtub. <laughs> Let's go. Some water and soap never hurt anyone. <laughs> End of the line. Dive! Never ever! Oh, I'm quite sure you'll dive. <laughs> seeing things? Or did the strange creature just crash our clubhouse? Oh. 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 
I'm a camel. My name is Katali. This says you live in the desert. What are you doing here? Uh, uh, Abdul, my owner, brought me here to meet his friend with bizarre hair. Winston? But his evil cat tried to lock me in a basement. Boss. So I escaped, and now I just want to go back home with Abdul. Don't worry. We'll help you find your owner. <laughs> All clear! <gasps> Keep it down, Meatball. We have to find Abdul. <laughs> uh, can't we take a break? <gasps> I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 Using cookies. Huh? <laughs> Flora is here. Well, and this one is. Hey! What happened to the flower shop? Okay, so this is the shop. Huh? Meatball! Have you seen the cookies? Yeah. Aha! Uh you ate all the cookies, isn't that right? Aww, but they're so yummy! Meatball! How can we solve the mystery if you eat the crime scene? Don't worry, milady. Floor, when was the last time you saw the orange cornflower? Um, I'll have to think about it. I was in such a hurry to get here. Try to remember any places you may have passed along the way. Oh, I remember I heard the clock strike 12 while I was walking. Good. We have a trail to follow. Come on. See? It's 1 p.m. Floor, you walked by here exactly one hour ago. <gasps> Nicely done, Pilu. I'm entry, my dear Fleur. The cornflower disappeared before you got to your shop. So, there could be a clue around here somewhere? I think so, but we've got to find it. Possum! I was right! Here's our first clue! <laughs> Is it an edible clue? <laughs> Meatball! You ate our clue again! It doesn't matter. There's a trail of petals this way. <gasps> Look! Over here! Another clue! Ha! What is it? It looks like engine oil. Ugh, that doesn't sound like a very yummy clue. Buffy cats, we've got a problem. There are too many stains, too many trails to follow. There's no way to be sure which is the one. Well, at least I'm sure about how hungry I am. We're never going to find my flower. <laughs> 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 
Did you just say flour? Someone with an orange flower spilled that oil and made a mess of the place. So you saw the culprit. No. His back was turned. But the culprit did come through here. And my whiskers will find out where he went. Now that's a Buffy brainstorm, Lampo. <laughs> my whiskers are telling us that's the right track. <laughs> I got it! <laughs> gotcha! Let go of the ball! Never! Lady Pilu, <laughs> the three of you are in no shape for my famous. Hmm. Huh? Guess and get game. <laughs> As you know, the guess and get game is a treasure hunt. Each of you will have to guess what I draw, find it, and bring it here. This is the first thing you'll have to find. Here is the second one. And this is the third. Can you remember all of them? <laughs> then let the guess and get game begin! <laughs> Do you know what the first thing Meatball drew is? Yes, and I know where to find it. I know where the second one is. Okay. Then I'll find the third one. <laughs> Good luck, my furry fellows! <laughs> my pal Neko always sets up the best swap meets. I'll find what I need here. Hey, Pilu. What are you doing here? Hi, Neko. I'm playing treasure hunt. I need a clock, and I'm sure you have one. You're the luckiest cat on Earth. Luck can help you find, but where to look, you should have in mind. Hmm. 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 <gasps> this is a magnet, isn't it? <sighs> look out! It's very powerful! A clock? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. What do I get in return? I have my rubber chicken. It's super stretchy. Ha! <laughs> Perfect! Is it a deal, then? It's a deal. I couldn't have escaped without your help. We could never abandon you, Snoogie. Or maybe we should call you the Masked Cat. I, I don't know what you're talking about. My fur changed color. I have the impression someone's just told a lie. Okay, it's true. I'm the Masked Cat. But please, Promise you won't reveal my secret identity to anyone. Trust us, your secret is safe with the Buffy Cats. Uh oh, I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs. Trouble's coming. <gasps> the Cat Catchers. We need the masked cat. Leave this to me. <laughs> I can't 
can't see anything! <laughs> Watch out! Thank you, masked cat! <laughs> Guys! Again? <laughs> no cat escaped from Birdie's Miss Grabber! Let's move! My power won't last for long! <laughs> Hey! Where are we? Oh, yes. Of course. No cat escapes from Brutus' as Mr. Claw. <laughs> Don't those two ever give it a rest? Hmm. <laughs> I know how to stop them. <laughs> You get Miss Grabber off me first! <laughs> That'll keep those two busy for a while. <laughs> Over here, my lady. Looks like you're back to being the laziest cat in town. Yeah, that chase really tired me out. And now, the super cat Super Meow will perform his super flip. Uh -oh. Good old Meatball, you never change. Nope. Today I'm not clumsy. I'm super clumsy! <laughs> oh, enjoy your meal, kitties. <laughs> your springtime isn't bad, Meatball. Why don't you enter the Buff Olympics, too? Do I get a Kitty Treats medal for winning? Come on, Meatball. You always think about food. I have to think about training. Uh, All right, Lampo. We'll help you train. Awesome idea, my lady. I can help, too. I'll eat your treats. Thanks, my furry fellows. Let's go over the list of events. First up is the yarn javelin. Sounds hard. How does it work? Easy. For distance, you have to spin three times before you throw. Oh, <laughs> nice shot! <laughs> the second event is the kitty litter long jump. A jump? Want me to show you one from my cat food training? Run, a big leap, and then three flips. Like this. <laughs> Ta-da! Got it! Let me try. We need something to mark the starting line. Huh? I run, then leap. <laughs> no! Meepo! <laughs> you all good? More or less. The last event is the toughest one. The scratching post obstacle course. But without a course to try, I have no way to train. Stop! You're an athlete now. Oh, you just need intense athletic drills. Come with me. Now, I'll throw you donuts and you'll eat them in midair. Mm, okay, Meatball. But are you sure this training will help me? Of course. Ready? Go. <laughs> oh! Maybe not. You needed a scratching post to train on, right? Now you have one. Thanks, m'lady. Uh, I'll try it right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is easier than I thought, Buffy Cats. <laughs> yeah! Let's make this work out a challenge. <laughs> Lambo, touch! <laughs> I got it! I got it! I... 
Oh, oh, I don't got it. Well done. It's mine now. Ha! Mimo! But where's the trunk? They took it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boss, <laughs> what a nightmare. Okay. Time to stop them with my cat foo moves. <laughs> Let's get back to the atelier and prepare for the fashion show. <laughs> We have to hurry. Uh, it's super late. Okay, but I need time to select carefully the perfect clothes from the trunk. Oh. That's it? Where is the rest of the stuff? All that effort for a few rags? No way! This time I have to be oh, <sighs> You've done all you could for me, my furry fashionistas. Leave me be. The audience will laugh me out of town. It will be the end of my brilliant career. Yep. Even these leftovers are old and broken. Poor Ambrosio. Even he couldn't recycle them into something useful for a fashion show. Did you say recycle? What if we... And then... This way. What do you think? You're a genius, darling. Consider yourself my assistant here and now by my paws. It's Pilu who gave me the Buffy brainstorm. <laughs> Come on, let's get to work. Presenting my new collection, inspired by the art of recycling. Eco-friendly ideas for fantastic outfits. <sighs> <laughs> this special show was such a success. Thank you, Buffy Cats, for your precious help. <laughs> I want to dedicate this fabulous collection to you all. Ambrosia! Say cheese. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> that way's not the shortcut, Blister. Yes, it is, Cat. Hey, you! Can you not see you're carrying a barrel? Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Boys, are you okay? Those ratty Buffy cats. This is all their fault. They did it to me again. Hey, boss, looking good. With that style, you look as even more wicked. That's not my style, it's just my temper. Come back, you two. You need some fashion lessons. Hey, Pilu! Pilu! I'm coming, Lampo! <gasps> my guitar! Uh, bass! <laughs> Ew. Oh, poor me. My sandwich doesn't exist anymore. I'm sorry, Meatball. <laughs> I just wanted to play. Buffy Cats, up for a game of furry ball? Huh? Uh. Lampo! Cats! Uh, sounds like fun, but uh, we better get our instruments fixed for tonight's concert first. Oh. And I have to salvage my snack. I'm sorry, but we can't play with you right now, Pilu. Huh? Hmm. I heard a meow! Maybe I found some cat to play with. Hi, I'm Pilu. Hello! What's your name? Baby Pie! Baby Pie! Baby Pie! Oh, I get it! Baby Pie! Pilu, we're off to the scrapyard. Gotta ask Wrench to fix our instruments. Oh, who's your little friend here? Baby Pie! <laughs> you must be new in town, right? Yeah, Milady, I can count. I can't leave a poor kitten with no one to play with. <laughs> yes! Let's play. Come on, come on, come on! Remember, steer clear of Granny Penis trophies in the sitting room. And have fun, but don't make a mess. Don't worry, Lampo. Baby Pie and I will be good, and we'll have fun together. <gasps> Baby Pie, where are you? <gasps> Good. Now I'm ready to write my article about the wear cat. But I need absolute silence. Yeah! <laughs> 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 the wear cat. Baby Pie, what are you doing? Come back here right now. Wait, Baby Pie, hold on, hold on. Stop, Baby Pie, come back. <laughs> Baby Pie, 
Ty, I've got a game that's way more fun to play. Hey, where did you go? The squirrel game! Want to play catch the cat? I'll catch you first. Are you? Granny won another trophy at the noodle cook-off. Hello, Kitty. Oh, I see you've made friends with Pilu. <laughs> Such a playful kitten. You'll get along well together. Look! A shooting star! Let's go see what's going on! It's not a shooting star. Then what is it? It's a real alien spaceship! Whoa! Whoa an alien, alien cat! cat. Oh. <gasps> on behalf of all the cats of Earth, you are welcome, friend. Greetings to you, Earthling cats. I am Astrocat, and I come from planet Meow. What did I tell you? It really exists! Unfortunately, I was forced to crash land here. I... Why don't you come inside and tell us all about your planet? I can't. I have to repair my ship and get back into space as soon as possible. Don't worry. We're the Buffy Cats and we'll help you fix it. Are you sure you can fix my spaceship? Of course. Now you'll see a real spaceship pilot in action. Uh, you know how to pilot a spaceship? Sure. For example, this is the start button. <coughs> I won't get back to Planet Meow again. Don't worry, Astrocat. Tomorrow, we'll bring your spaceship to Edison, the scientist cat. He'll know what to do. Until then. Yeah, bedtime. <sighs> Good night, my lady. Good night, Cosmo. Sweet dreams, Buffy Cats. <sighs> this is how we sleep on Planet Meow. Possum. Good night, everyone. Peaceful night, my friends. This is Kay. The target has entered the neighborhood garage. Advise, over. This is Z. I suggest that time. This is M. Negative. We must remain awake to monitor the target. Playing artist is super fun. Now this is a masterpiece. Totally uninspired, Lampo. Real art is simple, like this study in one color. Those styles are so outdated. Look! The first feline style tower in history. Huh? Hmm. Huh. Huh. This is real art. What they call art of food. This art really affects me. It makes me hungry. Huh? Ah! Uh -huh. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Oh la la! What do we have here? Monsieur Le Palais! A sundial. This. Uh, this. It's all because of. It's a true masterpiece! Me! Because of me! I've been working on it for days! 
Ooh la la! We have some feline pop art here. That's what I thought too. Amazing! A pizza! Conceptual art. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. This is my work of art. So interesting. The other side of the Mona Lisa. More real than a real painting. <laughs> yep, I'm the best artist cat in town. Actually, I'm the best. No, I'm the best. What about me? I'm the <laughs> best artist cat. Buffy Cats, I'd beat you with my eyes closed. In any art competition, I'd win for sure. Oh la la, how passionate. I'll proclaim the best artist cat by organizing an art competition. Hooray! The winning work of art will be featured in my gallery. Okay, we Buffy Cats will take up your challenge. Fine, as long as you don't mind when I win. We'll see about that. Amazing! I'll see you all later at my gallery. But, boys, you're not an artist. Oh, yes, I am. I'm a scam artist. <laughs> Tonight's rehearsal was awesome! Sure was, my furry fellows. Our new song is really coming together. Yeah, my lady. It'll be a hit with the neighborhood cats at our Halloween party tomorrow. To make it a real Halloween treat, let's add some super scary lyrics. You know what's scary? Missing nap time. <laughs> <clears throat> On second thought, running out of snacks is the scariest thing of all. Oh, I feel terrified just thinking about it. Let's sing about the furry wear cat. Meow. Uh, oh, lady, is the were cat a wolf who turns into a cat or a cat who turns into a wolf? <laughs> How about King Cat? A giant cat, tall as the clock tower. King Cat uses skyscrapers as scratching posts. <laughs> <laughs> the only giant cat I know is Meatball. Hey! <laughs> I'm so hungry! Or let's sing about the monster who lives in the dark. The monster who lives in the dark really exists? That's what I heard. And that monster has been spotted right around here. <laughs> I'm the monster who lives in the dark. <laughs> that burp was the scariest part of the story. <laughs> So the monster who lives in the dark could be hiding anywhere? with a little job. Oh. Let's go tidy up the attic. Meow. Come on now. Tidy up the attic? What does that mean? Granny Pina was nice enough to make noodles for us, so let's help her first. Oh. What a mess! 
It'll take ages to put everything back in order. Well, we've got to start somewhere. Oh, jeepers, is that heavy. Oh, thank you, Lampo. But even with your support, Granny can't lift this yet. I guess I need to do some Granny Karate first. Yeah. Hoorah! <laughs> Buffy Brainstorm, let's tidy up the attic for Granny. Okay, my lady, but I'm too hungry. I'll go to the kitchen. <laughs> Of course! Granny Pina always treats us so well. We'd be happy to do something for her. Also, Igor wants to help Granny. With the strongest cat in town, we'll be done in no time. All right, Lampo. We get to work right now. All we need is a strong arm. <laughs> <laughs> and a gentle touch. Ouch! Uh, a sparrow? <laughs> a woodpecker? <laughs> no, Popetta. It's Edison's messenger bird. Edison? Huh, the weird cat? The inventor cat. He's always showing off his crazy inventions to the neighborhood cats. I mean, his brilliant inventions. <laughs> Edison invites all the neighborhood cats to see his new invention. <laughs> Why don't we get one of these for Granny Pina? He could come and call us when the chow is ready. Good idea! Lead the way! <laughs> Remember, don't touch anything. Hmm. Oh. Ooh, so sparkly. Can I hold her? Can I hold her? Uh-uh. You've got flying on the brain. You're going. You're. You're. A genius. Edison! You've demonstrated my new theory. The smaller the creatures, the greater the disasters they produce. New theory? Pilu has been proving it for years. Buffy Cats, I'm glad you're here. You're about to attend the demonstration of my latest invention. <gasps> what is that? This marvel, my darling, will change feline history forever! Made with recycled materials, this beauty ensures we cats never have to envy birds again! Oh, so cool! Cats will be able to fly? Well, I think so. Anyone want to try it? <laughs> Cat friends, I think I've found our volunteer! Traps! Stop the intruder! <laughs> Stay still so we can trap you! That cat is amazing! <laughs> you should have known you'd never catch me, boss. I'm not a house cat like you. <laughs> I'm an adventure cat. Just keep on talking, big mouth. Huh? No! Huh? I can't let him get trapped. Look out! Behind you! <laughs> 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 
Lampo too? I ain't letting them get away. I'll get you yet, Quatermain. You'll see. Great moves back there. You really showed boss with your cat-like reflexes. Yeah, but who are you, why are you here, and how can I be like you? The name's Quartermain. I'm on a mission. And to be like me, you have to be ready for anything and eat healthy. Uh. Eat healthy, eh? <laughs> so are you a chef? Uh. I'm much more than that. I'm an archaeologist looking for artifacts like this one. The legendary collar of Nefertiti's cat. I've been looking for it for years, but it ended up in Boss's house. This collar is only the first artifact on my quest to find the greatest prize of all time, the Pharaoh Tutankhamun's treasure. This is just the first one? What are you after next? I still have to find two more artifacts. And when I have all three, I'll find Tutankhamun's treasure. We want to help, Quatermain! No matter how terrifying the danger, no matter how tough the research, the Buffy Cats were made for adventure! <laughs> the list is all aligned, it rolls a six to the rear. The tails were all in time, it rolls a six to the rear. Six times seven is forty-two, plus two makes forty-four. Oh, forty-four cats, it rolls a six to the rear. Together they land up, it rolls a six to the rear. The whispers all aligned, it rolls a six to the rear. The tails are all in time, it rolls a six to the rear. Six to the rear! Great job, Robin! Your voice is awesome! Thank you, Buffy Cats. But it was all because of your beautiful song. <laughs> Meatball! <laughs> Meatball! Uh, what happened to the music? We stopped like a while ago. Mm, were you messing up that bad? No, we finished the song while you had your head in the clouds. Sorry, I got wrapped up listening to Robin's voice. It was so nice, I guess I got lost in the music. Your singing was really great today. Do you know why? I'm super happy because my baby is ready to hatch from its egg. Really? That's possum news! When it hatches, you'll be the first to know. Then I'll have a party, and you're all invited. Ah! We'll come, for sure. <laughs> Hmm. Ah, I'm free on that day. But I don't know the exact date. It doesn't matter. I'm always free when there's a party. What's on the menu? Meatball, you'll never change. <laughs> you'll have to excuse me. I'm going back to my nest. There's a baby waiting for me. Lampo and Milady are behaving like two baby kittens. 
Indeed, Pilu. <laughs> Lampo, Milady. Uh, I'm the uh, best. No, I'm the best. Uh, uh, Stop fighting, you uh, two. Uh, There's only one way to prove which of you is the best cat. Huh? The challenge of all challenges. My furry fellows, this is the legendary Book of Cat Challenge. Only the cat that wins the challenge will be declared the best cat. Let me see that, Meatball. Let me see it first. I'm going to be best cat. Uh, uh. Each cat up to the challenge must recover extraordinary objects from the humans. Special objects. Things like the shoe of the hero. Ah. Or the magnificent scepter that rules water. Whoa, so cool. Ooh, when do we start the challenge? Right now. You both have a list of extraordinary human objects. Whoever brings them back from the humans will be crowned best cat. This is a challenge fit for real cats. And I'm going to win. Have the crown ready for me, Meatball. <laughs> they bought it! <laughs> this is gonna be good! This is the botanical garden, my furry fellows. I heard it's full of plants from all over the world. It's a real jungle. Muffy cats, let's go inside. Uh, you said jungle, m'lady? Uh, are you sure about this? Why don't we think about it over a snack? Uh, I, I suddenly feel like playing a, a, a game of furry ball. Pilu, but aren't you always up for anything? With these helmets, we'll be explorer cats. And we'll find the mysterious monster. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Boys, when does the fun start? A little patience, please. Just keep your eyes peeled for the perfect moment. Buffy cats, let's check for anything strange. Ah, help! The monster! Don't panic, Meatball. It's just a coconut. Normal jungle stuff. <laughs> a coconut shower! One coconut is normal. A shower of coconuts is pretty weird. Oh, what? Hey, stop throwing coconuts! Hello, explorers. <laughs> Sorry, you scared me. Who are you? I am Tata, the talking parrot of the botanical garden. We're the Buffy Cats, and you don't need to worry. We want to be friends, Tata. If you're afraid of the monster that lives here, we'll protect you. No, no, there's no monster in here. How can you be so sure? It could be hiding somewhere nearby. Impossible. There is no monster. All this exploration is making me hungry. <laughs> Talk about a low-cal banana. Whatever. I'll just eat another one. Huh? I'm pretty sure bananas don't taste like air. Yeah. Ah! Uh, who are you? He looks like a wildcat. Did you see that, boss? Yeah. So this must be the monster everyone's talking about. We'll have lots of fun with him. <laughs> what is your name? I am Lampo. Don't worry. <laughs> and I'm Pilu. You want some chips? Why is he so scared? And why were you hiding him? Because everyone thinks there's a monster in here. The truth is that the two of us are the only ones living in the garden. <laughs> He's a wild cat. His name is Jungle. Say hi to the Buffy Cats, Jungle. He said hello, Buffy Cats. Wow, this cat art show is amazing. <laughs> so many wonderful works of feline art. Oh, this painting is awesome. Come on, Pilu. Let's follow Monsieur La Palette. <laughs> he 
It's all good, cop. You can go. Thank you. Forgive him. Officer Cop just takes his job very seriously. But it's necessary to protect the works of feline art of my gallery. <laughs> Here we go. Eyes open. Thank you all for coming. I'm proud to introduce to you the Discotopolis, a statue made completely of gold. A unique piece. Oh. <laughs> Unique, just like my bowl of noodles. It represents the first bowl of wool cat pitcher in history. Oh, the Discarabolus is just the thing. It's completely made of gold. Ah! Oh. Too close. You've earned a citation. But what did I do? Your stink is a misdemeanor. Possum! Yeah, my lady, but I'm still hungry. <laughs> citation! Do not touch the works of art. It's a holographic strawberry. You can admire it, but it's not a real strawberry. Blister, Skip, did you see that? Yes, boss. Clumsy Meatball is always hungry. And so what? So, thanks to him, we'll steal the Discatobolus. And I'll have a wonderful golden <laughs> crown made out of it. <laughs> <laughs> You see that, Scab? The hamburger sculpture by Andy Cathall looks real. I heard that guests can contribute to the work of art by giving it a big bite. Uh, me, me, I want to be first. <laughs> <laughs> You're in trouble, Meatball. Oh, my meatballs. <laughs> You're under arrest for trying to steal this work of art. Don't worry, Cop. Meatball's just hungry. He is always hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, everything is fine. Let's go back to admiring the... <coughs> The Discatopolis! It has disappeared! Now, Lampo, you'll learn some proper eating habits. This is what civilized cats should eat. What's inside, Uncle? The only food fit for civilized cats. Caviar pate! Yuck! <laughs> oh, don't judge a book by its cover and sit down properly, like a civilized cat. Develop your sense of smell, Lampo. Can you feel it? All the aromas of the sea are in here. <laughs> You're totally right, Uncle. Now we'll refine your palate. Come on, taste the pate. Lampo, halt! You must use your mouth. A civilized cat always has clean paws. Lampo, you ready to rehearse with us? Sorry, Lampo has not finished reviewing his good manners with me yet. Any ideas to save Lampo, Meatball? Better have a snack and think about it, m'lady. Match the steps. That's great. Chest out. <sighs> hey, Snobbeen. This is my Uncle Archibald. Uncle, this is Snobbeen. That is not how to greet a lady. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Archibald. Archibald McArchibald, and it's my pleasure to meet you, madam. How gallant, Mr. Archibald. You are a true gentle cat. See you tonight, Lampo. 
Now, Lampo, I want you to greet all your friends we meet today, just like that. All right, Uncle. Uh-oh. Is that a friend of yours? Uh, doesn't look like, um, I don't know. Hi, Lampo. Uh, uh... Clearly he's your friend. Hi, Gas. Uh, Uncle, I just remembered I left something at the clubhouse. Uh, greet your friend as a civilized cat would uh, do. Hi. Hey there. Huh? I'm really happy to see you, my dear friend. Lampo, are you okay? It's just me, Gas, the stinky cat. <sighs> <laughs> Come on, Buffy Cats! Have a seat! Lampo, this gift is too heavy! <gasps> Did Meatball just say gift? I want to see the gift! Yep, it's a gift! A gift for the ants! What? A gift for the ants? Yeah, haven't you heard? Today is National Ant Day! We brought sandwiches for them. Hey, milady, did you fill them with broccoli? Um, no, I forgot. Could you go look for some broccoli? Milady, I can't stand broccoli. I love broccoli. I'll go. You're not hungry, Meatball. You're thirsty. I'm not thirsty. I'm hungry. You're not hungry. You are thirsty. Drink. <laughs> Okay, I'll just drink this super duper crazy triple carbonated orange soda. <laughs> but we're at the park. Where can I find broccoli here? Um, I don't know. Just look around and maybe you'll find some. Meanwhile, We'll finish setting up for our picnic. Everybody's acting so weird today. Make way! <laughs> Hello, Terry. <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey, Pilu! Check out my tricks! You're really good on your scooter. I've always wanted to have one of my own. Sorry, I didn't find anything. Huh? Surprise! <gasps> Happy birthday, dear Pilu. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> oh, best friends ever! That means you didn't forget. And this is for you. <gasps> Try. <laughs> oh, go on, Pilu. Try again. Go, Pilu. Let yourself go. It's so fun. <laughs> this is too hard. I'm never going to get it. Just be patient, Pilu. You can do it, but it'll take a little work. All right, Buffy Cats, it's time to play Tail Off! Tail Off is a beautiful game. And filled with feline grace. Do you all remember the rules? You must make contact with the ball and bounce it only using your tail. When the ball goes in the basket, you get two points. If you touch the ball with your paws, the other team gets a free throw, the Super Meow Shot. Using a special golden ball of wool, the team that committed the foul is on defense. A player is only allowed to stop the ball of wool with his mouth. If the golden ball of wool isn't stopped and lands in the basket, the other team gets five points. Got all that, Pilu? Yes, m'lady. Let's play. <laughs> Nice shot, Pilu! Meepo, what are you doing? They're on the other team! 
Really? I thought we were all on the same team. of ours. What do you want? Just watching the game. <laughs> what big fans of tail off. <laughs> All right, but don't play any of your usual pranks. Who, us? We'll be good. I promise. <laughs> 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 We've had enough of your pranks. It's you versus us huh? at the abandoned playing field. If we win, no more pranks for a month. All right, but if we win, we'll stink up your beds. See you tomorrow. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun. <laughs> What are you doing? This is my house. I own it. Hey, uh, Winston, you said this house was abandoned. It is, and it's, uh, haunted. Oh, she's a ghost. A smelly, icky ghost. <laughs> Lady, so Winston's lying? Yep, Winston's lying. Oh, you keep them busy, kitties. I've got to go get something. Hi. Hey, huh? she just disappeared. <laughs> oh, she is a ghost. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh. See? She summoned her evil ghost cats. Uh, oh, stop! I'm allergic to ghosts! Uh, an evil kitten! Oh, but you're so cute. So cute. I must obey you. No, you must obey me. <laughs> Now, destroy the apple! See that, Winston? The deed to my house. Which means, I own it. The deed is real. The sicky ghost lady owns the house. I'm Winston. I can do what I want. Uh, not without that deed. Thanks for this deed. <laughs> I'm so sick of Winston trying to knock down my house. <laughs> How did Granny control Winston and those mean humans with just a piece of paper? Because to humans, that piece of paper means she owns the house. Humans are crazy. Don't they know the only way to own something is by rubbing your face on it? There, smells like me. Now I own it. It's mine. <laughs> no, it's mine. Pilu, it's mine. Mine. Actually, <laughs> it's mine. I stole the deed. <laughs> <laughs> 
again for almost an hour. An hour? Oh, I can't wait that long. My mom's gonna be so mad at me. Well then, let's bring forward the cuckoo! <laughs> Zero power! Whoa! Pitch siren wails loudly like a howling cat. Wow! Uh, that's not really the sound. I'm sure it is. You just need to hear the real thing. I'll just turn on the siren real quick. Uh, uh, siren, siren. Uh, it's probably this one. Hmm? <laughs> um, that looks like a trash can. Exactly! We designed it so no one would know it's a spaceship. Oh! I promise I won't tell anyone. Good! Now hop in, Astro Cat! Uh, wait! How do I steer it? It steers itself. It's got a robot brain. Whoa! The spaceship's <laughs> robot brain can talk to you through this walkie-talkie. You have to do whatever I tell you to do. Yes, sir! <laughs> Showtime! Whoa! So high-tech! Time to call Cosmo. Hello, Cosmo. I am the spaceship. Wow! Uh, do you have a name? A uh, name? Uh, 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 u
belly button? <laughs> oh, that's the coolest name ever! Get ready for takeoff. <gasps> Ten, nine, eight. And then? And then? Seven, seven, six times seven is 42, plus two makes four, and lift off! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the moon. Wow! Have we arrived already? Whoa! I see the Earth! I didn't know the Earth had ears. Okay, I'm going to explore. Wait! <laughs> Don't move. Don't even breathe. <laughs> Remember, the moon doesn't have much gravity. Be careful, you will be very light here. Whoa! Whoa. Ah. Moon monster alert! Hmm? <sighs> that was so much food! Need emergency nappies. Oh. Oh. Buffy cats, I don't think I could eat another bite. Huh? Wow! Uh-oh! Suddenly I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs! That means danger! Uh, danger of starvation! Huh? I hate it when corn runs away! Ah! Uh, ah! I caught you, Meatball. <laughs> Boss, just wait until my friends get here. Lampo, help! Oh, they're not your friends. They won't come. You want to bet? Buffy Cat! Call your friends for help, so I will catch them too! <laughs> Again. Huh? Meatball! Help! Uh, he's in trouble! Uh, Milady, Meatball is in danger! Uh, 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 Halo, Lady, follow me! Lampo, help! Meatball's caught in one of Winston's traps! Find yourself in a sticky situation? <laughs> Get a trappy. <laughs> trappy Stark. Oh, you are supposed to be a genius. Trappy needs belly rubs. <laughs> ah, come join your friends. <laughs> you can all have one of your fun, happy kitty parties. <laughs> 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 Lampo, don't be crazy. We need Noodle Power! <laughs> Perfect. Brutus won't be able to resist. He'll want to catch the rarest cat of all. Meepa, the legendary rat cat. <sighs> but why me? Because you look adorable with mouse ears. Okay, Pilu. But what do I do now? Smile! And say cheese. Uh, cheese! Here, 
is a perfect wanted poster. You'll see, Meatball. The plan's gonna work. Uh, that's what I'm afraid of, Lampo. Uh, I don't want to be in a cage. Relax, Meatball. You just have to go for a little walk. And when Brutus shows up, we'll be ready to spring into action. Just remember to squeak to sound the alarm. Go! <laughs> uh, squeak, of course. <gasps> Wait! I'm a cat! I don't know how to squeak! Oh, I can't do it! All this work is making me hungry! I'm really hungry for spaghetti and meatballs! Huh? Hold on! Whenever I'm in danger, I'm always hungry for spaghetti and meatballs! So... that means... Ah! Cat. Wait, wait. Oh, forget it. Help! Buffy Cat! Yeah. <laughs> Sit still, you. Now it's our turn. Let's smash Brutus's claw. Without it, he can't catch cats. <laughs> oh, so many cats caught by my claw. Uh, no free rides! Get off my claw, now! Ah! Uh. Oh, I think the free ride was a roller coaster! Let me give you a hand, or better yet, a claw! <laughs> Smile! Say cheese for the daily cat cover, please. <laughs> 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 This is not funny. Not learning now of all times. <laughs> oh no, I've lost my appetite again. And now I have double food. Good. Then you won't mind sharing your food with me. Who are you? My name is Gas. <laughs> Your stink is why I can't eat. Yeah, and if you don't share your food, I'm going to come inside and make your house stink like me forever. Yeah. And your granny will blame you and throw you out. Is that what your family did to you? I'm an alley cat. I never had a family. Yeah. <laughs> My fur turned pink. You're lying! I never lie! I never had a family! My lie detecting power never fails! Well, we can help you get one. We used to be alley cats, but now Granny feeds us. She'd feed you too if you just took a bath. A bath? With water? <laughs> Your food. <laughs> My food! You smell like that on purpose! So you can rob other cats! Yep. My stink is my best friend. And it keeps me safe from harm. Because no one wants to touch me. <laughs> we'll see about that. He's so lonely. Yeah, he uses his stink as a defense from the others. That's why he doesn't have friends. We have to help him. This is the Buffy Cat's mission, helping those in need. Maybe we should convince him to take a bath? Hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh! Gas is running out to Winston's yard! Here we go! Granny keeps the recipe inside her big cookbook. Oh. Okay, stand back, Meatball. Check this move out. Huh. <laughs> 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 
Nice move, Lampo. Uh, where could it be? Aha! <gasps> uh -huh! There it is! I've got it! Awesome! Whoa! Trash can. Buffy Brainstorm, we need a pair of wings. Right, my lady. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, it's okay, little birdies. I don't want to hurt you. He left his lucky objects here. Oh, 
to meet you. My friend is out of town and Terry needs company. Terry loves kitties, so I took him here to play with you. <laughs> Terry Settle, I know you'll be nice to sweet little Terry. Have fun. I'll be home by dinner. Terry, sit. Good boy. <laughs> Let's get out before he sees us. like cats, not like dogs. But cats are just like dogs. Huh? No, we're not. Ah. Yes, you are. We all have four paws, fur, and a tail. We eat treats, we take naps, and we live with humans. <gasps> He's right. We are like dogs. We're not, huh? Meatball. Cats and dogs are totally different. But I love kitties. I want to be your friend. You love us? Yes, of course. And I'd be so happy to be like you, to be a cat. I've got it. Terry, what if we teach you to act like a cat? So all the kitties will be your friends. Woohoo! I'm going to be a kitty. <laughs> Dear cat friends, welcome to the Meow Meow Grand Prix. All our competitors are at the starting line. Let's welcome the great boss, the mighty Igor, and the amazing Boom Boom Stuffer. Who is going to win the big race? We'll find out at the end of 10 laps. Anyway, may the best cat win. That's me. There's still time to withdraw, guys. Am I still in time to join the race? It's Lambo, Cat Friends. What a surprise! We have four bikes in the race now. But I'm the one who'll cross the finish line. Blister, Scab, get ready to help. <laughs> it's your beck and call, boss. <laughs> on your mark. Okay. 
But watch out for boss. He is cheating. And double punctures knockout Igor. That's just bad luck. No, boss's tricks are behind this. Oh, him again? Is this some kind of joke? Oh, now that he's distracted, blister, scab, stop him! <laughs> Where do these come from? Better move them before someone gets hurt! <laughs> okay, Buffy Cats, time to rehearse for the party. All the neighborhood cats are gonna hear us play! So much fun! Sure, fun. But after I finish my nap... <laughs> we have to rehearse! <laughs> Granny Pina was right! Lampo, you caught a cold! <gasps> Uh, no, 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 I, I feel perfectly fine. Meow. Meow. I have the impression someone's just told a lie. Uh, uh, I feel great, m'lady. The show must go on. Mm, we should call Fizby. <sighs> Fizby? The doctor? Cat? Oh, no way! Nope! No, uh, uh No, no, no! <laughs> See? I feel great! I meant to do that. <laughs> Lampo, you're sick. Go rest and call Dr. Fizby. You're not afraid of the doctor, are you? Afraid of the doctor? Oh, no. Me? What? No way! I love doctors. They're great. Well, I may not love doctors. I'm not afraid, however. I have the sniffles, but the party is more important. Let's re- <laughs> You're lying again. I'll go find a singer to fill in for you. If you don't want to see the doc, you can't do the gig. Ugh. I am not missing this gig! Then please call Dr. Fizby. Okay, Pilu, fine. I'll call Fizby. Now then, Meeple and I better do an equipment check. Take a look, Pilu. Dr. Fizby! Where's the patient? This way. Audience will decide winner with much applause. Best wins! <laughs> These losers can't compete with my twinkling twinkle toes. Or our twinkling tricks. Dancing is our job. We'll be the winners, naturally. You can do it, Jimmy. You're not terrible. <laughs> On to stage we welcome our friend, Terry the Pup. It's your turn. Look for me. I'll be your biggest supporter.
dog somewhere else. <laughs> Neko eliminated. And now, fancy dancy and... Uh, <laughs> the Boom Boom Steppers. <laughs> I have to climb up there to learn cat foo. Look at the positive side. The way back down will be easy and fast. Cat foo is the art of agility and speed. Follow my steps. Wow. Use your imagination. The unpredictable. Wow. Have courage. Every obstacle is an opportunity to improve. Watch me. Whoa! That was the leap and bounce move. Let's see what you can do. Well, I don't think... <laughs> you can do it! Okay. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Whoa. Every obstacle is Whoa. Come on Cats. Wanna see my washing machine go? I just repaired it. But the glass door is so dirty, Wrench. How can you even tell if it's working? Uh, you're right, Lampo. Unfortunately, I don't know how to clean it. If you want, you can use this scarf. Okay, my lady. Let's try it. <laughs> it worked perfectly. And now I can see it working. How can I ever thank you? With a cat swap, Wrench. Can you give us something to play with? I've got what you need, Buffy Cats. A beautiful tire. A tire? So what's wrong? It's brand new. That's not the problem, Wrench. We started playing cat swap because we already had a tire. And we wanted to trade it for a game. With a little imagination, anything can be used for a game. Even a tire. Wrench is right, Buffy Cats. We just need the right Buffy Brainstorm. Don't worry. It just happens when it does the super spin cycle. Uh, maybe you should turn it off, Wrench. The problem is, I forgot to fix the off switch. <laughs> My washing machine. Yeah. Stop that door. Leave it to me. Great, my lady. A super awesome move. Look how the tire is spinning. It looks like a spinning top. A spinning top, hmm? I've got a fluffy brainstorm. Wrench, what do you say we... Will that work? Sure it will, my lady. I'll get right on it. Hello, 
and welcome. Hi, Wrench. I want to know who has better luck, Neko or me. Can you help us? Let me think. Where did I put it? Huh? <laughs> Here it is. What is it? It's a toy. It's called the farm game. I'll show you how it works. Yeah. The cow says... Whoa. Whoa. I want to try, too! This is a pig. <laughs> My turn now. This is a horse. <laughs> the winner is the one who gets the arrow to stop on the cat. But you have to be lucky. Today is my lucky day. I'll get it on the first <laughs> try. <laughs> the bird says... Oh, this thing must be broken. I'll try it. Listen to the cat. Wow, oh. what luck. Neko won the game again. Hey. Wow, well, <laughs> I didn't do anything special. Come play, Meatball. I'm coming, I'm coming. The bird says... I thought for sure this would be my lucky day. <laughs> Hello, little bird. What are you doing on my head? What's that thing around your leg? But this is... Hey, it's raining spare parts. Just what I need for my garage. Look out below! I've seen plenty of bikes, but that's my first flying one for sure. Oh, all that work to build it and now it's junk. You built it yourself? Yeah. I wanted to take part in the Meow Meow Grand Prix and beat that show-off boss. But I'll have to give up. Are you joking? I'm Wrench, the best mechanic cat in town. And if that's your dream, we'll make it come true. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I made some adjustments, and now it's a real bike. Quick setting brakes, cat-like reflexes, and above all, an extraordinary wonder engine. A wonder engine? You don't need gas to make it go. This bike needs snacks. Oh, sandwiches. Sweet. <laughs> it's got my appetite. Hey, that's for the bike. I don't know how to thank you, Wrench. Win that race. I don't like braggarts like boss. I'll do my best. Welcome to our first ever Creative Recycling Day! Here you go, Lampo. My favorite tire. We made so many memorable races together. Thank you, Wrench. You did a top-notch job, Buffy Cats. Mm. Mm. Yep. Mm. Yep. Yep. But they are missing something. Something to make them go. Hmm. Let me see what we have here. Hmm. A suspension spring, an old hand drill, and a ball bearing. Here we go. These will come in handy. And... There we go. Hmm. <laughs> It's awesome! Now it's time to play! 
The dinosaur is out. We're gonna play Dinosaur World. Look, Terry's collar was taken by a King Can Cobra. Don't be afraid. We're riding a real Dino Catsaurus. Awesome! Uh, are you sure we'll be able to get my collar back? Sure, Terry. The Dino Catsaurus is the strongest dinosaur ever. Hey, the King Can Cobra isn't joking around. Ah! He covered our Dino Catsaurus's eyes. I'll handle this. <laughs> Cats, so you can play whenever you want. Look, over here, another clue. Ah, what is it? Hmm, it looks like engine oil. Ugh, that doesn't sound like a very yummy clue. Buffy Cats, we've got a problem. There are too many stains, too many trails to follow. There's no way to be sure which is the one. Well, at least I'm sure about how hungry I am. We're never going to find my flower! Did you just say flower? Someone with an orange flower spilled that oil and made a mess of the place. So you saw the culprit. No, his back was turned. But the culprit did come through here, and my whiskers will find out where he went. Now that's a Buffy brainstorm, Lampo. Telling us that's the right track. A submarine? Are you serious? Well, it's just we thought. Seriously cool! I've always dreamed of building one, and I'd be happy to help. Under one condition. What condition? Huh? I get to be Captain Wrench. Is that clear, sailors? Yes, yes sir, Captain Sir! Hmm? Well, what do you think, Buffy Cats? Wow! It's a real submarine! You're the best, Wrench! So what are you waiting for? Get on board! <laughs> no laying down on the job, sailors. All hands on deck! We've got a pearl to find. No pearls in the river. All rivers flow into the ocean. Milady, that's where you'll find what you're looking for. Yeah. 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 
Be easy on that wheel. Oops. Whoa. Periscope, any pearls in sight? Pilu? <laughs> Negative, Captain Wrench. Depth control, take us down a bit more. Right away, Captain Wrench. Lampo, keep us from running aground. Don't worry, Captain. My whiskers are telling us we're right on course. Oh. Wreck on our port side, Meatball. Straighten up and then full speed ahead. Driving under the sea is the best. We don't even have to worry about getting stuck in traffic. Pearl, sighted to starboard. Uh, 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 Beautiful. Crew, prepare the recovery operation. Turn on the light of the periscope. The pincer is in position, Captain. Ooh. Uh, giant octopus on the bow, and it's angry. Quick, evasive maneuvers. <gasps> now, full speed ahead. We lost him. Don't be so sure, sailor. It's gaining on us. Prepare to be boarded. Uh, or maybe eaten. Me. No, we've lost the pearl. Don't worry, Pilu. I'm going back. Remain calm, sailor. Repeat the recovery operation. Right away, Captain. Don't give up, sailor! <laughs> Turn off the light of the periscope. We need to pass unnoticed. Quick! It's on our tail! Oh, no! What do we do now? <laughs> Meatball, cave spotted at 12 o'clock. Let's hide in there! Actually, it's easy for me. Skating is like dancing. Unfortunately, we're not as good as you. But if we got that good, we could win the Ice Cat competition against Bossy Boss. Whoa. Can you teach us how to skate, Lola? Sure, my furry fellows. I'll be your teacher. Skating takes grace, calm, and a light touch. Toes together, then toes apart. Slow, smooth motions. The mountain trail is the perfect place to practice what you learned. Milady, will you lead our dance? Huh? <laughs> it's not swimming, Milady. <laughs> it's not riding a bike either, Pilu. Come on, my furry fellows. Follow me. Like I said, skating is like dancing. With grace, calm, and a light touch. I put my furry fellows in this situation. I gotta show them we can win. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, oh no! Uh, I'm out of control! Milady, remember. Grace, calm, and a light touch. <laughs> You've proven yourselves to be expert skaters. And I'm sure our coach has already planned our team's strategy. Right, Lampo? Well, I... Uh, of course! Oh, oh, yes, Lola. Yes. <laughs> I'm not sure I can do it, but I have to look confident for my furry fellows. Otherwise, we won't win. <laughs> oh, look! It started snowing. 
<laughs> My little kitties, they're so lovely. Uh, <laughs> Christmas really feels like Christmas when it snows. <laughs> Let's all make snow angels. <laughs> Great, Buffy, brainstorm, Pilu. Look, Meatball, your snow angel is a fish croquette. <laughs> Hello, Buffy Cats! Hello, Glitter! With you here, it really does feel like Christmas! I have a surprise for you, Buffy Cats. How would you like to visit my workshop? Wait, wait, you mean we can spend a whole day in your Christmas workshop where you make toys for all the cats <laughs> in the world? <laughs> Think of it as an early Christmas present. Come on, hop in! Wow! We're getting on the cat sled! <laughs> ah, you can wear these traditional Christmas hats. <laughs> <laughs> They're catastic! Thank you so much, Glitter. Okay, dear squirrels, take us to the North Pole. North Pole? But it's hundreds of miles away! Wait a second. Here we go. Just in case we want to have a snack along the way. I have all we need. Okay, we're ready to go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! My dear audience, after that catastic show, it's time to start the Winter Buffalympics. Ready? <laughs> go! Lampo and Boss will push their snowballs to the top of the mountain. Go, Lampo! Go, go, go! <laughs> Come on, Boss! Hey, what's going on? My snowball is getting bigger. Of course, it's a snowball. And it's heavier, too. There is Boss. You three are bad luck. No, we're not. We're trying to cheer for you. It must be hard to compete with such short legs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have short legs. Huh? I knew I was the fastest. Nothing can stop me. <laughs> You can wait for me at the finish line. Are you sure you can get there? <laughs> <laughs> you need to work harder. Don't you know the snowball will get heavier and heavier as you climb? <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Did you know that Lampo listens to your songs all huh? the time? Really? Let's, Let's do, do another, another one ju just for him. But it's bent. Can you really hear? <laughs> yes! But I'm kind of in the middle of a race right now. Uh, 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 too late. Why didn't anyone tell me that winter sports involved so many stairs? <laughs> Boss completed the snowball event first, but Lampo is catching up. Don't sing your victory song yet, Boss. Turn to score. No, mine. Okay, time for a Buffy peacekeeping mission. We gotta show them that when you play together, what really matters is having fun together. Hold on, my fairy fellows. <laughs> Please stop arguing. This is no fun. Lampo is right. Let's set up a tournament and have fun. Yeah, a dog <laughs> tournament. And a cat one. <laughs> yeah, so we can see who's the best. Uh, that's not at all what I meant. Should I tell them? Wait, Lampo, let them do the tournament. We'll stand by them and show them they can have real fun when everyone's having fun. 
If you want to set up a tournament, the Buffy Cats will lend you a paw. <gasps> help us win? No, help you have fun together. I'll give you some tips, Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll help you, Terry. I can help you out, Bucky. And I got you covered, Sushi. But can we take a snack break first? Later. Hmm. Right now, we have a Buffy mission. <laughs> Let's get started. Each of you will get to choose a trial once you get this yarn ball. Here, Bucky, it's up to you to choose the first trial. To win the ball, I challenge you to a game of fetch. Watch out, though. I'm the best. The four of us will run from one ramp to the next. The Buffy Cats will throw the ball. As we jump the ramps, we have to grab the balls in the air and take them back to the Buffy Cats. Whoever fetches the most wins the yarn ball. Ready? First throw! <laughs> Sorry, Terry. That's okay. Thank you. Helps Igor to end better. Sorbet or ice cream, Zoe? <laughs> game to play outdoors. Right, Buffy Cats? That's right, Wrench. Do you have something we can all play together? Let's see. Oh. Huh? <laughs> this is the scrapyard game. The most possum game ever. Wow! Let's do it! Oh, my whiskers. It's raining again. Don't worry, Buffy Cats. Rain won't stop us from playing. We'll take shelter in my workshop. Cosmo, the astronaut cat! Hi, Buffy Cats. Hello, Wrench. Mind if I wait here until the rain stops? No problem, Cosmo. Oh. But why do you look so sad? My rocket's stuck in a pile of washing machines. And with this rain, I'll never be able to get it out. Don't worry, Cosmo. The Buffy Cats will lend you a paw. We will? How? With this. The Scrapyard Game. It's a meteorite. We're gonna play Space Adventure! <laughs> yeah! The washing robot took Cosmo's rocket. They're gonna attack us! I'll alert the moon base with my space walkie-talkie. <laughs> this is Commander Lampo to moon base. Buffy alarm! <laughs> this is Lunar Base. What's up, Commander Lampo? The washing robots are attacking! Buffy Cats, let's get ready to defend ourselves! <laughs> Charge the energy spheres, Lieutenant Meatball. <laughs> wow! Buffy attack! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> yeah. Great job! Reload the chicken slingshot. Quick, Meatball, quick! This isn't an energy sphere. It's a cat tree. This isn't a cat treat. It's an energy sphere. <laughs> Go on, Pilu. We can make it.
only one sphere left. We can't fail. Hm. I'll handle this. <laughs> Victory! Washing robots neutralized. Look, it stopped raining. <laughs> Huh? Thanks, Buffy Cats. You're the greatest furry fellows in the whole world. The Buffy Cats never abandon their friends. Not even on the moon. Ada, can you wash the dishes? Ada washes dishes for the Buffy Cats. Oh. <laughs> Ada can do anything. Ada, can you clean the kitchen? Ada cleans the kitchen for the Buffy Cats. Buffy Cats, now that Ada is taking care of the house, let's do something for Granny. Right, Pilu. Ada can help us. Now's my chance. <laughs> Ada detected a spot. <laughs> Can you cook up some vegetable soup? The soup prepares the Buffy Cats for the vegetables. What's she doing? for bringing me the mail, you good kitty. I know just how to thank you. Cat treats and cuddles. Hmm, postcards, bills, but no invitation to the City Flower Festival. I was really hoping to go this year. Uh-oh, this envelope is not for me. It was delivered here by accident. Give it to the mailman tomorrow, so he can deliver it to the right address. Hey, I can deliver it instead. I'm sure they'll thank me. And give me even more cat treats and cuddles. How do I find whoever I have to deliver it to? Where does he live? Ah! Hey! Oh, uh, sorry, boss. Watch where you're going, Meatball. Actually, I don't know where I'm going. Oh, really? Then go and have Cop, the police cat, handcuff you to something before you get lost. Oh, that's a great idea, boss. Cop knows everyone in town. He'll tell me who to deliver this envelope to. Oh, thank you, Aww. thank you. Don't thank me, you ratty cat. <laughs> cat huh? treats and cuddles, I'm a cuddle. What's Meatball up to? I'd better follow him and find out. So what do you think, Cop? Can you help me track down the owner of this envelope? Hmm. 
Sure, a good police cat always knows how to find clues. <laughs> Look, Meatball, the stamp has a picture of some corn. Is that a clue? Mm. Yes. My sense of smell tells me that the recipient of this envelope is on a farm. <laughs> what crazy nonsense are they up to? Oh, thanks, Cop. I'll go right now so I can get cat treats and cuddles. <laughs> Interesting plan, Meatball. But I'm the one who will get cat treats and cuddles. <laughs> wow! Awesome! I might be able to help. Did, did you do that? Yes. My name's Will. Will? You mean the legendary basket fur champion? <laughs> I've been watching you play. Listen. Playing basket fur means working hard the whole game. One little distraction, and it's over. I can be your coach, if you promise to work hard. You have our word. Right, Puffy Cats? Yeah! yeah! Good. First things first, let's go over the rules of basket fur. Basket fur is played three against three. But we... Don't worry, Lampo. I'll be ready for you! To score points, just get the ball into the basket. If you throw the ball from the green zone, you score one point. If you throw the ball from the yellow zone, you get three points instead. After the first basket, you switch to a heavier ball of yarn. And after the second one, you use a ball made of lead. This ball can be handled by two cats at the same time. <sighs> Lucky me. After three baskets, the team with the most points wins the game. First exercise, ball lifts. How hard can that be? Look. Too light. You'll train with those ones. Go, Lucky hmm? Cats! After this, normal basket fur yarn balls will feel super light. What you need is some extra incentive. Donut! <laughs> Meatball, no food during training. <laughs> Ugh, that wasn't in the recipe. Hey, Buffy losers. <laughs> no matter how hard you train, you'll never win. Don't listen to them. They're trying to make you lose confidence. <sighs> it's working. We're already so tired, Will. We're never gonna make it tonight. Don't give up, Buffy Cats. You've been working so hard. Will is right. We need to train more to get in shape and no food during training. That's the spirit, Meatball. If you train, nothing is impossible. Second exercise, passing. To catch the yarn ball, be the yarn ball. When I said be the yarn ball, that's not what I meant. Come on, Buffy Cats. This way. Isn't it dangerous? You can trust him, Pilu. Uncle Greg is a ranger cat. Uncle! Can't we just eat here? We better follow them, Pilu. Go on, Buffy Cats. A ranger cat who hesitates is lost. Wow, Uncle Greg is really tough. Yeah, Lempo, and he knows a lot of trails. Too many. I found the right trail! <laughs> Here we go. Just like that time I crossed the longest and dirtiest puddle in the world. That was a tough one. That's why they gave me this badge. Wow. How did he know that there was a log there? Uncle Greg is a ranger cat. Uncle! 
Can we stop here? A ranger cat who hesitates is lost. Okay, but we can't follow that trail. How do we cross the river? Huh? Buffy cats, look! We can use that vine! I love adventure. Buffy cats, on three. One, two, three! Follow me! One, two, three! Uh, I didn't mean all at once! <laughs> Isn't this day trip possible? And it's just getting started! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Buffy Cats! Let's catch up with Uncle Greg! But I'm so hungry! I got this badge for climbing Yarn Peak using only my tail! Watch your step, Buffy Cats! Are we there yet, Uncle? Not yet. I need to get higher to have a better view. I don't see the peak of Cat Mountain. Uh, but how can he not see that rock is gonna fall? Uh, Uncle Greg can't see well at all. And, and you're, you're telling, telling us now? The peak was over there. Once. <gasps> Buffy Cats, Uncle Greg could get hurt. We have to get him. But Lampo, how can we get down there? Uh, with these big leaves. We'll use them to glide. They didn't move the peak, did they? It should be here. Oh, maybe over there. Buffy Cats, move it! Found it! <laughs> That's the right direction. Uncle Greg! <laughs> Jump off that rock! <laughs> Where's Uncle Greg? <laughs> <laughs> I've been on so many trips in my career as a ranger cat, but this is the most relaxing one, for sure. Right, me, Bo? Later, Sheriff. Ah. Limpo, who are these two ugly mugs? I don't know, Meatball. Hey, strangers, take your boots and go. <sighs> hey, buddy, do we have boots? No, Darren. Keep sleeping. Uh, Yee-haw! Huh? Quit yapping and put your paws in the oh, sky, me. cowboy. Well, I'll be corralled. What manner of cats are you? We're cowboy cats like you. My name is Meatball, and this is Lampo. <sighs> I'm Buddy, and the big talker in the cell is my brother, Darren's. Howdy, cowboys! We need to lock these streets in the sheriff's office. Can you please leave? Uh, nope. Cause we're the new sheriffs. We were here first. <laughs> well said, Darrens. But Lampo, we've always been the sheriffs. You listen up. Meow City ain't big enough for four sheriffs. What do you say we compete for the sheriff star? A game to see who's the most sheriffy sheriff. Oh, my meatballs. This is getting serious. Cowboys, we've got our game's first contest all ready. Aim true with your banana and throw it straight into your partner's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right challenge for us. What do you say, buddy? Mm, buddy doesn't care. Buddy? If we're the sheriffs, we'll be watching over all those crunchy treats. On second thought, I'm game for this banana game, Darrens. Huh? <sighs> A sheriff's gotta be fast on the paw. Sure enough. They call me the fastest paw in the West. Quit messing around and take aim, Darrens. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, there you go. Mm, was that so hard? I like this game. Go, Lampo, hit the target. <laughs> oh, look, I found a corn cob. Huh? Yum, looks delicious. Well, I'll make it on the first try. <laughs> Good cat, you did it. No, I wanted to eat it. Pretty fast for a rookie. 
It ain't over till it's over. There are two more contests to go. Blister, scab, you realize no one's watching the sheriff's office right now. <laughs> right, boys. And I'm sure you got a plan. Naturally, scab. Follow me. This place is dark. I'm starting to think this was a bad idea. Hey, Krill, stick together. It's our pirate cat code. Oh, there's the lucky doubloon. And three doors. But which one is the right one to open? The map says to follow the symbol of the cat. So, baby pie. Uh, looks like a dark tunnel that leads to the pirate's hideout. Come on, ye hearties! Catbeard's treasure is waiting for us! According to the map, there should be a bridge. There it is! But how can we get it in the right place and pass through? The map says to pull all the levers up. <laughs> hmm. How do we open the door? I got it! It's like a puzzle! To open the door, we have to solve it and put the pieces in the right place. Puzzles are fun! Let's try it out! The puzzle is finished, but the door still won't open! How can we get to the treasure? <gasps> it's time to use the lucky doubloon. <laughs> ah, that's it. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Ahoy, crew! There's a light in the distance. <laughs> I'd catch the mouse. Easy on guard, mousey. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Is that you, mousey? Lady, <laughs> 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 Pilo, I'll give you a clue. You guess the cat. <laughs> I don't know, Lampo. Come on, you really can't guess. <laughs> <laughs> Gas, the stinky cat. Hello, my lady. Hi, Pilu. Have fun. Hi, Hi Gas. Have, have a nice day. Catcherated <laughs> <laughs> cat plastic. <laughs> I get a meatball. You want to turn playing cat charades? Is it a big animal? 
An elephant? <laughs> ah! A dinosaur! <laughs> a mouse! A giant mouse! It's in the kitchen! <laughs> Meatball, there's no such thing as a giant mouse. You should know. They're tiny. And... Ah! <laughs> oh, my whiskers! I knew it. There's no such thing as a giant mouse. But we do have a small guest in our house. Aha! There you are. Don't come any closer. Don't be scared, Mousy. We don't want to hurt you. If you're hungry, just ask. Especially if you're hungry for noodles. Huh? I'm not hungry. Then tell us what's bothering you. Consider us your furry fellows. My name is Tap Tap. I'm here looking for help to save my children, tick, tack, and toe. <laughs> we crossed paths with three ratty cats who tried to grab us. <laughs> Run for cover! <laughs> <laughs> I got the three cats to chase me so Tic Tac and Toe could hide in a safe place. I managed to lose them, and then I came here looking for help. But I don't know if you cats would be willing to help a mouse. Huh. We're the Buffy Cats. We always help those in need. That's right, Lampo. Don't worry, Tap Tap. We'll help you save Tic Tac and Toe. Oh, thank you. You are my furry fellows. We have a Buffy mission. Let's help Mara get to the airport on time. Ah, Buffy losers. Handed a perfect opportunity to play a prank on this hippo, and what do they want to do? Help her. Buffy cats, we've got to get Mara to the airport without anybody noticing. Lampo's right. Humans aren't used to seeing a hippo walking around town. I've got a Buffy brainstorm. We'll disguise Mara as a human being. How can I look like a human, m'lady? <sighs> we just need the right outfit. Hmm? Uh, hmm. We need something bigger. The biggest one we know is... Uh, uh, you mean me? Mara! Meepo's outfit suits you perfectly. Thanks, Pilu. We're ready to go. The plane to Africa will be loaded with stuff marked with this label. Ah, I get it! That label has the outline of Africa. Mm-hmm. Mm, good to know. We can all fit if we take Granny Pina's bike. <laughs> but I can't reach the pedals. Don't worry, let us handle it. To go super fast, we'll need super energy. And I have just the thing. Granny Pina's noodles! It's in the noodles of Granny Pina. A plate of superpower, a spectrum and real mover. You eat them hot with me, Ragu. With Ragu! They'll help you grow all tall and stop your feeling blue. Because a plate of noodles by Granny Pina is better than a doctor. It'll take away your fever. So be happy, come on, and we'll stop. is the perfect opportunity to get all the Buffy cats stuck on a plane to Africa. <laughs> With this magnet, I'll lift up their bike and drop them in a shipping crate. We're slowing down. Blow harder, Buffy cats. <gasps> Almost there. I'll catch you now. On second thought, I could use this. Africa, here I come! Look, there are two humans on the crosswalk. Don't worry, we'll pass between them. Are they mimes? Pretending to carry something invisible? Those aren't mimes! That's a 
a sheet of glass! <laughs> Mara, turn! Turn! <laughs> <laughs> of candy left out and no one's around Meepo, you've been caught red pod ha <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey who turned out the lights trick or treat <laughs> help <laughs> i promise i'll never <laughs> raid the candy again <laughs> Help, Poppy Kids! Ah! Meepo, what's got you so scared? Limpo, help! There's a witch in the kitchen! Look, I'm shaking with fear! Hmm, did the witch look something like her? Ah! Hello, Buffy Cats! Ah! Here she comes! It's her, the witch! Sorry to scare you, Meepo. Isata, is that really you? But why are you dressed up like a witch? Because it's Halloween. And tonight, we're gonna team up Buffy Cats. Super Possum! We'll take turns trick-or-treating. That way, people will give us lots of candy. Ooh. Halloween would be my favorite holiday, except for the Halloween monster. Come on, Meatball. There's no such thing as the Halloween monster. Ah! Trick or treat! <laughs> Trick or... Hey, aren't you scared even a teeny tiny bit? Nothing scary about you. I'm going trick or treating now. Bye! No, oh, she thinks she's some kind of Halloween queen, walking around with those ratty cats. Hey, boss? But we'll show them. We'll get way more candy. Winston's honor. Trick or treat. Uh, no thanks. I'm not interested in any encyclopedias, and I already have four vacuum cleaners. Go on, m'lady. It's your turn. Oh, what a nice kitty. You know, I guess I can give you a few treats. Here you go, Meepo. You hold the treats. Oh, they all look so yummy. Don't eat them, Meepo. They're for all of us to share. Oh, I know that, Lampo. I solemnly swear not to touch a single one till the end of the night. We trust you, Meepo. Now let's go get more candy. Oh, I just hope we don't run into the Halloween monster. We've come to the most important thing. The birthday cake. It's super late. Granny will be here soon. It's over. We'll never be done in time. There'd need to be at least ten of us. <laughs> Hey, what are the birdies doing? As I live in meow, the, the birdies, birdies are, are making, making a cake. cake. Possum, they want to help. If we team up, we can do it. Come on, Buffy Cats, let's go. Knead the dough. Mix it up! <laughs> Make way! Incoming strawberries! <laughs> Granny Pina is already here! Kitties, can you stop? Granny Peanut is coming inside. 
but the cake isn't ready yet. Don't worry, Pilu. I'll distract Granny so you can finish the cake. What bad weather today. Luckily, I'm home with my kitties. Hello, lady. <coughs> Some more cuddles, little sweetie. Hmm. <coughs> 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 lady, you really want to play today? Oh, my lady, where are you? Where are my kitties? <laughs> How strange. It's so quiet. What happened to my sitting room? <laughs> kitties, aren't you funny? Why are you wearing those hats? Yeah. Oh, here's another one. I suppose I'll wear one, too. <laughs> What's this? A cake? How beautiful. But, but, but what are we celebrating? Meow. 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 Oh, of course, kitties. You're right. Today is my birthday. I had totally forgotten. Meow, 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 meow. meow. Buffy cats, all thanks to the little birdies. And now, kitties, <laughs> time to taste this wonderful cake. I take it back. Oh, you liked the cake. You can come back on my next birthday, birdies. The cake's gone. That means we'll be celebrating with some nice <laughs> vegetable soup. Meowpa <gasps> 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 had no way to escape. The orangutans had him cornered. Was he going to face them or give up? He could fight with the frog tongue and use his battle cry. <gasps> Meowpa decided to face them. He knew Katsu moves better than anyone else. His frog style was legendary, unique, absolutely unbeatable. That day, Meowpa fought against 99 ninja orangutans. And with that battle, Grandpa became a Katsu legend. Wow. I wouldn't want to be in those ninja orangutan's shoes. <sighs> Good point, Meatball. Nobody can beat the frog tongue. <laughs> Thanks, m'lady. It's also good for digestion. Keep telling us the story, m'lady. Uh -huh. How did the Meow Paw fight end? Did he finally manage to defeat all those ninja orangutans? Uh, well, Pilu, actually, nobody knows how it went. Except me. Huh? Grandpa? Oh, the, the legendary Meowpaw! I beat 99 ninja orangutans. One after another. Like this! Ooh, the legendary frog tongue! But how did you do it, Grandpa? You'll have to wait. Don't you want to tell us? No. One doesn't talk with one's mouth full. Wow, what wisdom. I beat them by putting the frog style into practice. I want to master the frog style too. Only Kato, your master, can choose the style you need to learn. Buffy cats? Hello, Hello Master Kato. Kato. 
After the hard training that you did, in the final cat foo show, you'll have to commit. Final show? What does that mean? Each of you will perform a cat foo style, and all together, a routine you will try. Pilu, you will do ladybug style, delicate and controlled. It achieves every goal. Lampo, you will do dragonfly style, instinctive and fast, the surprise ending sublast. Meatball, you will do bumblebee style, strong and winning, with its bonbon spinning. Milady, you will do the bee style, determined and gentle, precision physical and mental. But I wanted to learn the frog style. And the great Meow Paw, hero of heroes, will review all of your performances. Grandpa will review me? See you tomorrow. And train hard, please, so performing in front of the audience will be a breeze. I hope I won't disappoint you, Grandpa. It's nice to see you, my cherry blossom. What advice can you give us, Great Meow Paw? Mm, yeah, what does a cat food master eat? What can we do to avoid making mistakes? Practice together, dear lotus flowers. Only this way will you blossom. It's time for you to start training for the show. Come to Cat Mountain once you're ready. Uh, I gotta do my best. I can't disappoint Grandpa. Subscribe to the channel!